do, 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 do. What is going on over there? I gotta refresh my page. For some reason, my my second quote unquote monitor, which is actually an old notebook, is not updating what you guys are seeing. It used to update like right, right away. So, anywho, let me just get this game loaded. Actually, it's it's loaded. I'm just going into the Moore family now. I have to make sure it's Saturday. So this is like the main character of Vincent's story, obviously. He ended up with a Naomi like he's supposed to. In the original story, you had to pick between the girl and the money. So I've never actually played the original life stories, so. I would have just picked Naomi and started from scratch and just built up my business again. What is going on? I have a new security suite, ABG, and since I had it installed by my friend, it's every time I open a new program, it has to like give it permission. So the first time I opened Sims 2 after I installed it, it the program just quit suddenly. So it, and then it said, oh, this is now on your exception list. I'm like, well, that's great. But why did you quit the fucking program to put it on the exception list? Oh, my God. Hi, Nemeritis. <laughs> oh, I went into stream loots and all of the cards should be craftable now. So you should be able to craft them. Anyway. All right. First of all, it's 6 a.m. Uh, it should be Saturday. Where's the cheat object? I don't know where it is in this building. Who knows? Sometimes I don't keep it around. Sometimes I delete it. So let's just see if I can find. Okay, we got to do something about the, the floors in here. We've got these generic floors, and it's just not cutting it. Uh, I don't think we need the... Oh, no, we still... Ha oh, guys, we still have toddlers in this house. Kitty and Alan are now toddlers, or they're still toddlers. Yeah, they're still toddlers. They were toddlers last time we were here. Uh, Vinny and Nancy are children. Okay, so wait a second. Vinny just became a child, you guys. Nancy should be halfway to being a teenager. Yeah, she's going to be a teenager in 47 days. So anyway, we're going to have to uh, find the cheat object. Where are you? Oh, there's the bat box. Okay, so I have a new bat box. Apparently, you can, like, turn it into different things. You can turn it into different objects. Oh, damn. So anyway, this is Huge Lunatic, who does a lot of stuff on MTS. I think it's a girl. I think Huge Lunatic is a girl. I'm pretty sure people have referred to her in the, in the she, her pronoun. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so now it is an artist model. Hold on. What else can we turn it into? I think there's like a dozen things that you can turn. Oh, yeah, that's kind of ugly. <laughs> that, that's not going to sit on top of a refrigerator. Oh, that's cute. I like that. So anyway, Huge Lunatic lets you choose... Which, like, it, she shows you how to add objects into the file. Like, there's step-by-step -step, um, instructions on how to put... You can basically turn the bat box into anything now. She, I think she gave, like, a dozen objects to start with. But then she gives you step-by-steps to add pretty any, any object. Like, you could do a kitchen sink if you wanted to, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I think it has to be something in the build cat or buy catalog, to be honest with you. Probably makes more sense. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of cute. That's different. But that's not the object I'm looking for. I'm like, okay, I need to actually, I need to delete these counters because I got rid of the Lord Darcy OMSPs. <laughs> so I'm going to have to get this one out. Okay, put that there for now. Yeah, so I'm going to have to make it, woo. Put that there. So we're going to have to use the new, the new ones. The new ones. I'll put this one over here. Anyway. Oh, by Gummy Lut. All right, hold on. i got to write that down. Gummy Lut does a lot. If you haven't checked out Gummy Lut, you guys, you really should. Uh, they do a lot of great things on MTS. Gummy Lut. So now I can turn... Table controller. And I was just saying this the other day that I don't understand why um, people who create mods use that stupid flower boss for everything.
Like for instance, Lamar has a new beta beta mod out. Uh, it's still in beta testing right now. I'll show you what it is. As you can see, we've got the variable meal server is a vase. So you got the variable meal server as a vase, and you've got the dining table reserver by Lamar. This is the the beta object. So you're supposed to put this in restaurants. You have to put it in an owned restaurant, I believe. I don't think it works on non-owned. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to read the instructions. Anyway, you put it on a, on a restaurant lot, and it allows a family that has a toddler to reserve a table that has a high chair next to the table. But it, like I said, it's still in beta testing mode. Now, this particular vase has yellow flowers. Um, this vase... The one that allows you to do the, the counter controller and the table controller. That's in blue. But apparently Gummy Lut did a new version of this where you can put it in different things. It just kind of drives me crazy that so there's so many cheat objects that use the frickin' vase. At least I got rid of this one. I got rid of the uh, bat box vase. But here's another vase. Uh, this is the sim logical table and, and counter controller. So there's this one still. This one's in yellow. <laughs> I just don't understand, like, why would you pick, why would everybody pick the same file? Okay, so this is the cheat object I'm trying to look for right now. Let's go ahead and make this Saturday. Um, it's Saturday. Also, it should be, is it spring? It should be spring. So we're going to make this spring. Um, we're going to do clear sky. Okay, we're going to not not do that. We're just going to do clear sky. Forced weather is clear sky. Okay. Okay, it should be fine. The weather should be corrected. It's Saturday. So we're going to probably do... A, oh, let's check to see if the rabbit is still alive. Last time... Oh, looks like the rabbit is still in there, guys. Last time we came into this house, the rabbit had disappeared and I had to get a new rabbit. Hold on. He's still oh yeah, Dave is still there. You guys, Dave is still in there. I don't have to get I don't have to get a new Dave. Woohoo! It's working. Okay, it's six in the morning. We're just gonna do we're just gonna do the one time cheat that I always do when I go into all right, hold on, let me get caught up in chat here. I can link it to you. Actually, they probably don't work. But before Gummy Lut improved the table controller, someone made it recolorable or so. Oh got it. All right, why why isn't anybody Oh, they're doing ACR. Please don't get pregnant. I'm pretty sure I put her on birth control. Okay, somebody's... Oh! Nancy is clearing the table. Good for you, Nancy. I'm going to make the kids a little hungry. So let me just go into the children, the adult children. And adjust their... They should they should be hungry at 6 in the morning. So I'm going to make Vinny Jr. hungry. He just became a child. Uh, probably do this, maybe... Put that down a little bit. Make it more reasonable. Oh, I could eat that. Who's howling? I got Pippa. Why is Pippa? Where is Pippa? She's oh, she's under the piano howling. <laughs> That's actually funny. All right, what's going on with Andre? Andre's chasing his tail. Oh, wait, I got into... Hold on. Where's the Sim Blender? There we go. Uh, by the way, happy... Oh, happy New Year to everybody. Happy New Year to you and everybody else watching. Yeah, it's the first stream of 2024. Woohoo! <laughs> I sent you two gift packs, by the way. Because I don't think I sent you a gift pack last week. So, yeah, I sent you a gift pack. I, I sent one to Safi and Carrie... And uh, Jelly, I believe. Hello, Paperboy. You know what? I think I'm going to get rid of the Paperboy. I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get rid of the Paperboy. I'm pretty sure there's a mod which, so you don't get home delivery anymore. Because who, who has home delivery anymore? I certainly don't. I stopped a long time ago. I just get my news on the, on the internet. Anyway. Uh, one of the reasons I stopped is I'm just I just got tired of having to recycle newspaper newsprint because the ink they use is very toxic and it's just like one extra thing I have to do every week you know tie up the newspapers and blah 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 
just like, no, thank you. I know newspapers are going the way of the dinosaur, but oh, damn. Wait a second. Is that, are those weeds? Are these weeds? No, these aren't weeds. They look like weeds. What is going on? Is that, do I have a new default replacement for all these flowers? I don't remember having all these flowers on this lot. I don't remember these flowers. Do you guys remember these flowers? Anyway, there's the garage. Oh, who's, what's going on over here? What's, who's that? It's Hudson. Hudson, what are you doing? So I don't think I'm going to, oh my God. <laughs> oh, he's floating in the air. Hi, Hudson. <laughs> That's so cute. Wait, does Hudson have a job? Oh, he's a vermin chaser. Okay, he works at six. Andre should still be working. Is Andre, okay, Andre is not a senior dog yet because he's second generation, you guys, and so is uh, Pippa Moore. She's also second generation. She's about to be an elder though. Damn, girl. Let's just look at your parents. Oh, both of her parents are deceased. Precious and Smeagol are, have both died of old age. Oh, dear. So Precious, of course, is, is Diana DeBoer's dog from uh, Best in Show. So that's her. This is her brother, Ringo. Is Ringo dead? Ringo's not dead, is he? No. No, he's just white. <laughs> he's still alive. So that's her nephew, Skylar. So yeah, Pippa has two grandchildren, Hudson and Skylar. So anyway, we're not going to get rid of Hudson. Hudson is going to stay, and it looks like his grandparents on his father's side are still alive. Looks like Charlie and Maggie are still alive. Maggie is also one of the original dogs that belongs to the dog show judge that retired after Best in Show ended. So Maggie is still alive. Now how many kids did they have? They just had the two. Libby and Andre. Okay. So anyway, uh, yeah, his grandparents, his paternal grandparents are still alive. He's got one sister. No, one cousin. One cousin. There's Dave. I think somebody should go feed Dave. Can the children feed the rabbit? Play with Dave, watch Dave, put Dave up for adoption, give Dave a treat. Go ahead and give Dave a treat. So she can't feed or clean it. One of the parents has to do that. Uh, fill Dave's dish with... I don't think his dish needs filling. Clean Dave's cage? Yeah, go go, clean Dave's cage. <laughs> Make yourself useful. Um, where is... We need to work on Vinny's skills. It's Saturday, so... He probably has to read up on fire safety. I need to do something about the flooring in here. You know? All right, first of all, let's go, let's go, uh, aw. Let's go chicken on Dave. Don't you want to play with them? Hold on, hold on, go here. Why don't you play with Dave? Can you pick up Dave? Okay, so Vinny Jr. is, uh, playing the piano. I want him to come out here and interact with this rabbit at least once. Okay, I'm gonna let her do that first, and then she's gonna get like a bowl of cereal or something. Now, now kids can get more stuff. Uh, why don't you get a piece of cheesecake? It's Saturday and she's a kid. I think she should be allowed to have cheesecake. <laughs> All right, uh, you come here and play with Dave. Give Dave a treat, play with Dave. Just play with Dave one time. That's all I ask. Where are you? You're playing piano. Where is mom? Mom is just relaxing. She's chillaxing in bed. She just did her her every four day woohoo with her husband. <laughs> I put it on every four days. I could put it on every two days. Now that everybody's on birth control, I can actually have their automatic woohoo every two days instead. I'd have to go to the ACR adjuster. Hood wide settings. Global defaults. Okay. Two. Oh, it's on one every day. Oh, I changed it to one. When did that happen? I would have would not have done that on purpose. I must have thought it was some other setting. <laughs> I would not have done that intentionally because that increases the the you know the whoopsie births, <laughs> the unintended pregnancies. Anyway, yeah. If you're trying to cut down on, if you don't want to shut off, um. The pregnancies all together and put everybody in birth control and all that other stuff. Uh, you should have that number, the multiplier by four. So that's the automatic, uh, 
ACR woohoo only happens every four days. When you do it that way, that's what that number means. So I must have had like a major senior moment and, and changed that thinking it was something else. Uh, oh, why are you gossiping about Sasha? That's not nice. Oh my god. Do they even know? I guess they know her. <laughs> I mean, she is a neighbor in this town. All right, Naomi, you got to get get up. What, 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 what are you doing again? Oh, wait, you're a stay-at-home mom. Right, you used to be something else. I forget what she used to be, do for a living. Had Evelyn. When did she quit her job? Okay, that's her most recent job. Okay, she quit. Oh, that's right. She was a, she was a barista. That's how they met in, in the original life story she was a barista and uh greg chomsky his friend told him to go over there and introduce himself did they have a full house now i never know how many sims you can have with pets and well actually i have uh something called bigger families so i can have more than eight anyway but it looks like they just have six right now with three adult large dogs and harry's startup m just followed me thank you <laughs> harry startup i'm just gonna call you harry <laughs> if that's okay with you i don't know why naomi naomi's just in bed chilling like what the fuck get up do something you're a stay-at-home mom you should be making food or something <clears throat> what is first of all where's the toddlers shouldn't she be interacting with her toddlers what is going on down here yeah she has to like teach them how to potty and all that other stuff what's going on Alan Alan just became a toddler she became a toddler a while ago so she's uh, going to be a child in 31 days and Alan's gonna be a child in 60 days so they're 29 days apart now it takes 12 days to actually have a baby which means they're two and a half years apart because I have a mod that it's called 16 days equals one year. So yeah, if they're 30, what is it, 33 days apart? No, 29 days apart. They're 29 days apart, that's two years. And, um, yeah, two and a half years. I hate doing math in my head. <laughs> Let me get caught up in chat here. If you were talking about, so I just heard recently that this info from you know who who from you know whose website is wrong one means that sims will woohoo every 24 hours 2 48 3 72 4 and it's the opposite or something oh it's the opposite that's what she told everybody when she when i followed her instructions she said that that's what that what that's what that meant so she's wrong then damn it Oh, okay, she got it all wrong, so now I don't know what number to put it on. <laughs> I don't know what number to put it on now. Because the original inventor of the ACR is two Jeffs, and two Jeffs retired such a long time ago that I don't even think they check in anymore. I'm going to assume two Jeffs is a dude. But anyway, um, they have not checked in at all. I've never seen them any 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 time since I've been playing The Sims 2 again. Since I've got back into it, I've never seen them post on any message boards or check in. As a matter of fact, their their original website symbology was officially taken down years ago, and all of their mods was put into archive.org. So I mean, they are definitely retired. Now, some people who get retired, they keep che they keep checking in. Like bo boiling oil is retired. But he checks in. Like, he posts messages and stuff. So, not sure what's going on there. Oh, hi! Hi, Bubble Gamer Girl! How are you? Thanks for the raid! <laughs> hi! <laughs> how was your stream? I just got started. I literally just started. We're going to do Vincent Moore. He is the main character of um, Vincent's story, obviously. So, this is not... This is not actually life stories that I'm playing. It's it's a recreation of all the life story hoods and pet story hoods that I and I made a giant Uber hood out of them. So these hoods were actually created by the Hood Building Group between 2015 and 2020, and you can find them on uh, a Sims Wiki stuff. I'll show you where it is. So if you go to your browser, I just switched to Opera, so it's totally different looking now. Anyway. 
I have it under inhabited hoods. So if you if you Google Sims 2 inhabited hoods, it's going to take you to this page that is um, this is actually managed by my friend Chavusa, and she keeps it up to date when she's not studying astronomy in a, in a Swiss university. <laughs> Anyway, this is like all the inhabited hoods that you can get, and it's it's up to date. So what you do is you 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 check on this header called Creator Uploader to alphabetize it, and you go down to H for Hood Building Group. Oh, by the way, uh, guys, Ayanda Needles just came out with a new hood. She just came up with a brand new hood. Remember that Uber hood that I used to play, that that basically consisted of all the Ayanda Needles hoods. I'm going to have to add that or maybe start a new Uber hood with it. Anyway, she, uh, Ayanda Needles did a lot. She did Cactus Canyon University. So that was, that was the official university there. Copperhead City is actually a downtown. Oak Hill is full of werewolves. Rodeberg is based on her boyfriend's German town that he grew up in. <laughs> And then her version of Sedona, she did not, in, um, she did not invent Sedona, but she, this is her take on Sedona. So that was my main hood, Sedona. So some of you might remember me playing my Sedona overhead. Uh, then there's Sedona Deluxe. The difference between Sedona and Sedona Deluxe is that this is actually, she worked with the HBG, the hood building group, to create, like, basically take her version of Sedona and their version of Sedona and basically mush them together so you don't have to choose between the two and you basically mix like put them together so it was like a it was a joint effort what else did she do okay so her new hood isn't here because I think she just literally uh released it a couple days ago so Juwusa has not added it anyway let's go down to hood building group they have 12 hoods all, to, all together that they made in that five-year period. Five of them are based on pet stories and life stories. There's Guto Simmer, but I don't think his some of his links aren't working anymore. He's, he's kind of AWOL at the moment. Okay, there we go. Arbor Falls is the free play hood in pet stories. So that's one of my, um, one of my shopping districts is Arbor Falls. Bayside Flats, I don't know what that's based on, but that's another one of their, their hoods. I think it's based on something. You're just going to have to click on that and find out. Bitville, that's the one I'm playing right now. This is based on Vincent's story. So this is another one of my shopping districts. Emerald Heights is one of their one of their hoods that they made. Again, it may or may not be based on a Sims 3 hood. Some of their hoods are based on Sims 3 and Sims 4 hoods, so you're going to have to read the fine print. Four Corners is Riley's Story, another one of my shopping districts. Garden Heights is based on Best in Show, and that is my main hood. So that's that's what the file is. That this is it, it comes up as Garden Heights as the main the name of the main hood. Meadow Creek, I have no idea what that's about. Mesa Flats is my downtown. Now when you look you can actually downtown you can actually download it as a main hood, a sub hood or a downtown. I did I downloaded it as a downtown because of all the hood building group hoods, this is the only one that can be downloaded as a downtown. So that's officially um, my downtown. Now Mesa Flats is the hood uh, from Pet Stories. And I believe it's mid it's called Midnight Masquerade. So if you ever played that Pet Story, that's, that's where that takes place, at Mesa Flats. And we have two more. No, we have three more. Four. <laughs> five <laughs> hold on we have five more okay so we have Quaddington University it's basically uh this was their Garden of Shadows entry in 2016 for like a Halloween contest that's why it's full of um it's full of zombies everybody's a zombie including the NPCs and the professors everybody the townies so what I did was I literally teleported everybody into one of the dorms and cured all of them that's with the, with the sim transformer cheat object because I'm not a big fan of, of uh, zombies. Anyway, that's what I did. All of the pre-made students, all 16 of them, have actually graduated and started families of their own courtesy of story progression. 
So the thing about story progression is that you don't have to do any more university rounds. You could get story progression to take care of uh, university students for you. They, I, so basically story progression made them pick their majors and had them graduate and move out all and I didn't have to visit the university one time I'm not a big fan of doing university rounds so this takes care of that I don't have to do it anymore um this is another version of Sedona oh this is the original version of Sedona this they're the ones that created the original Sedona there's actually only four characters in the original one which is why Aonda Needles created her own version with like 12 families or something like that because, like I said, there's only four men who are in four separate households, and they all have secrets, and you have to sort of uncover what their secrets are. It's supposed to be a sister city of um, Strange Town. This Sedona is supposed to take place in the same uh, neighborhood as Strange Town. It's supposed to be like a sister city. Anyway, we got Shady Shores. I have no idea what this is about. Uh, Stellar Hills, again. No. Oh, oh, apparently you can turn this into a downtown now. Interesting. Oh, wait, that's coming soon. This is new. It says coming soon. Okay, I'm going to assume that Jawusa is working on this because Jawusa used to be part of the Hood Building Group. And she said she was going to work on some of their old stuff that they never completed. So it looks like this is going to be released soon. Stellar Hills. Interesting. Okay, that's going to be a new one. Okay, so that's, they're going to have 13. When when she finishes this one, there's going to be 13 hoods under them. So like I said, I have five of these hoods in my Uber hood. But you could you can mix and match anything that you want. But I definitely suggest you come to this page and alphabetize it. Like for instance, if you alphabetize it and you come down to Cutie Puss, see Cutie Puss right here? Cutie Puss did several... Um, great hoods that I would love to try. They did Asheville, Europe at East Bay, uh, New Arleston, Pit Stop Valley, and that's it. So, so they did four hoods. I would love to smush them together into one giant Uber hood. <laughs> I'm curious to see what the characters are like and what the houses look like. So that's another Uber hood I'd like to do is put all of Cutie Puss's um, neighborhoods into it. Did she have any that are downtown? You know, you can actually turn any hood into a downtown hood. Uh, it looks like you can only download these as main hoods. So you, there's actually instructions on how to turn a main hood into a sub hood, into like a, a shopping district. It's actually not that difficult. You just have to, to shut off all your stealth hoods. And Meet Me to the River has a very good article on how to shut off all your stealth hoods, like basically keep them from spawning the, the stealth hoods. And then you can turn any main hood you want into a downtown or a sub hood. It's, it's, like I said, it's not that. If I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> anyway, let's get back to the game. Hi, Heritage. How are you? <laughs> all right, so we haven't seen these guys in quite a while since since round three and it looks like he needs to have a shower okay so she needs to get off her ass and like start being a mother she's a stay-at-home mother she's got no excuses here okay looks like they just got a crank call it's saturday nine o'clock okay it should not be nine o'clock at night oh my god did i leave this on all night all day it should be 9 a.m yeah i actually left this on <laughs> Played in the background while I've been yapping. <laughs> All right, the kids need to go to bed at this point. Oh no, they're not supposed to be sleeping in a double bed. No. All right, so we need to make a bed for him. So he's going to have to temporarily live in in this room till we make him his own bedroom. So go ahead and uh, get out of bed. And Nancy sleeps on the top bunk. Oh, she is looking at... Actually, her energy is pretty good. I'm going to let her look through the telescope. But uh, this little munchkin over here has to get up and go downstairs. So I think I'm going to give him his own room. Because let's see here. We've got Nancy and Kitty can have this room. And Alan and Vinny Jr. can have this room. I'll take care of it tomorrow. It looks like I deleted some custom objects here. 
And those custom objects were converted into bowls of fruit. So let's just do <laughs> Oh, I know what I got rid of. I got rid of those tears for stuffed animals. I decided I didn't want them in my game. Go do that. All right, Vinny, go to bed. Kitty's, for some reason, Kitty's not doing that bad for having stayed up all day. Um, this toddler definitely needs our diaper changed. What is going on? What, Vincent, I need you to help out here. Come down here and take care of your daughter. Yeah, so we just started this family. All right, come down here, please. Oh, he's tired. Oh, I see what's going on. He was trying to go to bed. Nope, nope, you're on dad duty. Nope. Where is Alan? I did not name Alan. He was a story progression baby. Like, all the babies are story progression babies, and they're arbitrarily named by a list. That it's a combination of story progression names list and boiling oils names list. So it grabs it from both lists. He needs to actually go potty training. Do we have any potties up here? I don't think we do. I think we should put some potties outside. I like using these potties. I think we'll put these... We're not going to put them in the kitchen. That's kind of gross. Let's put them... We'll put them in the parents' bedroom. Put one there. Actually, we should put both both in here. I'm going to just temporarily move that. There we go. All right, so both potties are in here. All right, please, I need you to take uh, Alan. <laughs> I keep forgetting his name. Uh, What's your name again? I haven't seen them in a long time. I have 49 families in... No, I have 53 families in 49 different houses. So all the pre-made Quaddington University students are doubled up. I got two sets of couples in each townhouse. All right. She's getting a bottle. Man, and then we're going to take her to the potty. And while we're... Well, I'm just going to pause that and have him clean up here. And we're going to redo this kitchen. This is the original kitchen cabinets. I'm not a huge fan of these counters. I'm going to keep the counters, but I'm going to color them something else. Alright, don't freak out, little boy. I need you to go potty, and then we're going to put you to bed. Actually, you kind of need a bath. I'm afraid if I give this kid a bath, he's going to freak out. We're going to try to give him a bath. Sometimes when they, they're tired, they don't like that. So we're going to try to bathe Alan after he's done. And then we're going to put him to bed. And it looks like, yeah, we're going to put Kitty, okay, we're going to put, um, yeah, Kitty in that one. Okay, who's that? Okay, that's not, dude. I'm sorry, that's not your bed? Al, Vinny was, okay, Vinny is, okay, so the, see what's going on here? They don't know where their beds are because he just aged up into a child. Last time I was in this house, he was a toddler. So he doesn't know where his bed is. He's confused. So I actually have a mod that keeps children from um, using the uh, double beds, but apparently it's not working anymore. So <laughs> it's a very old mod. It's from like 2005. It's like an inseminator mod. Anyway, it's not working. I need to reset him. So what we're going to do is we're just going to get him his own dedicated bed at this point. And this is going to be the boys room from, from moving forward. Let's go ahead. I'm going to get him bunk bed as well. Like the two of them can have bunk beds. We're just going to do that. Buck beds are going to go here. We're going to move this over a little bit. This is the uh, temperature control unit. I actually have six different sets of bunk beds. Um, I've never actually used the fancy one, but because these guys are so rich, I feel like this is a good top. This is a good family to use the super rich ones from. I think it's Glamour Life. They're based on the Glamour Life bed. You, you'll recognize this. This wood right here. This used to be a double bed, so you actually have to get a mesh file to make it to turn into a single bed. So there's the single bed. Let me go ahead and put my cheats on. OK. 
Okay, move this over. So this has all the same recolors. Can I put this over? No, it's going to clip into the wall if I do that. All right, that's good. So this has all the same recolors that the original double bed has. Oh, thank you for the follow. Endless Rust. Oh, I like that name, Endless Rust. Aw. <laughs> Oops, I did not want to do that. <laughs> I hit the wrong button. All right, let's just reequate ourselves. Oh, I have recolors of these. Guys, I have recolors of the Glamour Life bed. Damn. Okay, so that's one of the original colors. It came in this color, which is like a light blue. This is like a light blue um, complementary color. Then this is dark brown and gold. And then this is black and silver. You guys are going to recognize that from the original double bed. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it in black and sil and uh, whatever this color is, I think. No, actually, I'm going to do it in medium brown with this blue. It's like a bluish gray kind of thing. So let's go ahead and give them. I'm not sure what his favorite color is. I don't. I don't know what it's been assigned to. So we'll just do an arbitrary color there. I need bedspreads that would look good in a kid's room. <laughs> well, that that would be kind of cute. Oh, we'll do that one. We'll do that one for the time being. It's it's all it's this is all temporary. We're gonna redecorate this room so it looks really snazzy. So this is the um yeah. For some reason Vinny is sleeping in this bed. So Vinny has to be reset. So I have a mod by uh two Jeffs. He's the one that also made ACR and visitor controller and triplets and quad. He did so many things. Anyway, Vincent needs to be reset with um uh it's called smart smart beds. And you can find it under the adjust menu, which is where you find the ACR stuff. Much double Z. All right, I need you to get up, sweetie. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, you come down here. Now I need you, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just teleport him down here because he's super tired. Well, he's gotten a little rest. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the adjust menu. So normally when you go to the adjust menu, you find a uh, visitor controller, ACR, stuff like that. Uh, but because he's a kid, he's got the child support button. He doesn't have child support, but it's there. And bed ownership, which is smart bed. So we're going to clear all. So that way he will never go back to using his parents' bed again. And then we're going to tell him to sleep in this, the top bunk. And he should go back to this top bunk from now on without being told. He shouldn't be using any other beds from this point forward. All right, Nancy needs to go to bed. I know she's having fun, but she, oh, she's not even tired. Okay, I can't really tell her to go to bed now. Um, I, I can't tell her to eat, though. Looks like she's a bit peckish. And I need to reset Vincent for, for whatever reason. Uh, story progression uh, screws around with sc schedules, like maid schedules, nanny schedules, especially the nanny schedules. And sometimes it kind of messes up with um, the, 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 uh, the bed controller. So we're going to reset Vincent. We're going to go adjust. Clear all. And then we're going to say, oh, we're going to go back to adjust. And we're going to say, own this bed. Now get in. And he should, he should be using this bed from this point forward. All right, where is, oh, she's still giving Alan a bath. Okay. Everybody's ignoring Kitty. Where's Kitty? Kitty, okay, Kitty's playing with the but, uh, the bunny rabbit, Dave. <laughs> I think that's so cute. <laughs> oh, gosh, okay. Now, it looks like he, look at that. He's green across the board, so Alan's good to go tomorrow. He is good to go. So we're going to put him down here. Alan, uh, how much longer is Alan going to be a toddler? Oh, he's going to be a toddler for 59 days. So he's probably still going to be a toddler when we come back to visit this family. Because I only rotationally play 12 of those uh, 53 families. And 12 times 4 is 48. So if, it's, if they don't age up for... If they age up more than 48 days from now, he's still going to be in the same age group. So yeah, he'll still be a toddler. She will be a child. 
he will still be a child. And she will still be a child. No, she won't. She'll just be a teenager. So she'll be two days into her teen years when we, when we revisit this family again. All right, so hopefully we can actually get her to drink chamomile tea to get her to go to sleep early. Uh, but we're not going to do that. So we're just going to wait till she's tired. I mean, it is midnight, but it's a, it's Sunday. So she can sleep in. All right, so is he going to bed? Okay, he's in bed. She's taking Alan to bed. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have her take care of Kitty. Hey, where is she going? Oh, she's cleaning up. Well, she she really likes cleaning things. Let me tell you. I don't think we need a maid anymore, guys. She's cleaning up diapers. She's putting away dirty dishes. She must have, like, a really strong clean dream. Okay, why don't you come up here? Did you actually eat any food? I don't think you did. I'm pretty sure I told you to come up here and get something. So that there's a new mod, which it's called... Well, it's not new, but it's new to me. Uh, children have kids... Uh, kids have fridge rights. I think that's what it's called. Something like that. Anyway, children can now get meals from the fridge. They can get cereal, lunch meat sandwich, gelatin, instant meal, layer cake, cheesecake, berry pie, and chef salad. They can also get bottles for their uh, younger siblings. Which is awesome. All right, what does she do? Okay, so Alan has been put to sleep. Where is, where's mom? Mom's in bed. <laughs> where's Kitty? Did anybody put Kitty to bed? No, Kitty's sleeping in the dog bed. <laughs> Wait a second, is she potty trained? I'm so, I'm sorry, sweetie. You're gonna have to get up and potty train this kid. <laughs> oh gosh, everybody forgot about Kitty. <laughs> Uh, come on, you're a stay-at-home mom. You can't, you can't complain, sweetie. That's all. That's your only job. <laughs> Get up. Your extremely rich husband is the breadwinner. All right, take her to the potty. I don't think she's gonna make it. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! No, no, madame, you are not going downstairs. No, you come here. Oh, what's that? Is that so oh, somebody just got back. Andre just got back from his job. All right, pick her up, please. Take her to the potty. Thank you. No, you're not going to sleep on one of the bunk beds. Come on, boo. Hurry, hurry, for the love of God, you're going to miss it. Oh, that was a close one. I was going to cheat and just bring up her needle just a tiny bit. Oh, she's not freaking out. Okay, so she's not so tired that she freaks out on the potty. Sometimes they will do that. This is like a gray area right here where they may or may not freak out. <laughs> she also needs a bath, but I'm going to give her a bath tomorrow, honestly. And then we're going to put her into a proper bed after this. All right, so you're going to pick her up and put her in this crib. And where is, is she still up? Sweetie, you're going to have to go to bed. Okay, she's actually looking through this telescope again. I can't, I, the only way I can get her to go to bed at this point is by cheat, uh, cheating. So we're going to pretend she had some chamomile tea to put her to bed. All right, you take her downstairs, please, and thank you. And then you can go to bed after that. Off you go. All right, let's just make sure all the dogs are doing okay. All right. That's Hudson. He's like a third generation. Actually, he's third generation on his mom's side or dad's side. And fourth generation on the other side. Anyway. He's not he's not one of the originals. That's all you need to know. <laughs> he's third and fourth. So we're going to have to do something about this basement. <laughs> This is a really big basement. I feel like we should divide it up a little bit. But we're definitely going to turn this into... This is definitely going to be a kid-friendly uh, kid area. We've got two girls and two boys in this house. They have a full house. 
So it's definitely going to be kid centric until all the kids are out of the house, and then we could turn it into like, like technically speaking, this is the area where the the adults have their parties and entertain their adult friends. This is this big room with the with the fancy dining table. We've got a stereo. We've got a nice piano. We've got a bar out here. We've got a pool. They have actually a guest bathroom just for the pool. So this is just for the pool guests. This bathroom. That's why that there's um. One of these toilets in here. There's also, this used to be a guest, like a bath guest house, but we converted it into like a place for the buddy. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and put this on fast speed. Now, I might have to, the thing about story progression is sometimes you have to rehire your maids from scratch. Sometimes they'll show up on the second day. Sometimes they won't. If they don't show up on the second day, you do have to rehire them. And like I said, the, the nanny schedules get all fucked up and weird. Sometimes I have two nannies show up um, at the same time. Sometimes they'll show up at 2 o'clock in the morning for absolutely no reason whatsoever. So you have to, you just, it's one of those things you have to put up with with story progression. One hour and ten. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's time for one of my breaks. So for those of you who are new, uh, I try to take a break once an hour. And while I'm taking my break, I do my three three minutes worth of ads. And I, I kindly ask you not to watch these ads. I, I want you to get up and stretch your legs and top off your tea, have a bite to eat, visit the loo, take your dog out, do anything but watch these ads. And I will be right back, guys. Are you see the dog? おばあちか。おばあちか。おばあちか。
Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I'm a little late. Just a little late. All right. What's going on? It is Sunday, 8.30. All right, she's still sleeping because I made her do stuff last night. <laughs> Oh, little boy's having... Oh, he's having cheesecake. Good for you, buddy. And he's sitting at the end, uh, head of the table. All right, Vincent, I know you love the piano, but come on, man. You're like the father. You should be making breakfast or something. Uh, serve breakfast. What are we going to have? We're gonna, let's have mango. I don't know what mango is, but we're going to have it this morning. She has since correct it from one is four, though, so that's good. Oh, yeah, but she not have said that anyway. I remember her saying, yeah, I remember saying something that a long time ago. Basically, she misinformed people at first, and then she should have said it to one, if that makes sense. So you you said I should have said it to one, which is what it was in this household? All right, what is Nancy doing? Nancy was up late looking through the star. Okay, now she has to pee. I'm just going to let these guys kind of do their own thing. I am going to... Oh, we got to work on... Oh, this poor dog's getting manhandled by the, <laughs> the toddlers. Hold on. We have a bunch of pictures here that need to be put up on the wall. There's this picture. Let's put this one up on... The, oh, we already have a bunch of pictures. Damn. Oh, that's right, because we had two older children. Hold on. Let's just get this up. Okay, so that's new. This one's new. Um, that's good. There's actually only six pictures all together. Three of them are uh, ones that can only be done by toddlers. And, okay, we have a repeat picture here, so we can probably get rid of this one. Anyway, uh, there's only six all together. You can get default replacements for these pictures. You can also get a mod that allows you to purchase these pictures from the catalog to make it look like your child did them, right? So, obviously, the ones that are more detailed are, are ones that the children did. So, this is this is something that I'm going to assume Nancy did or Vinny Jr. Or it's probably Nancy because she Vinny just became a child. He just aged up, like, while I was playing the last family. The ones that are kind of messy are ones by toddlers, obviously. So, we do have one. So, we have, these are the, these are the toddler pictures. This is one of the children pictures. So, I'd like to try and get my toddlers to give me one of each like one of each in each um, transition. So uh, the goal is to have six, but it doesn't always work out that way. Sometimes I can't get all six. I found the official documentation. Ooh, thank you so much. Everybody, I want you to go to my Discord and uh, check out that documentation because um, I'm going to have to reread it now. All right. So let's check out the skills on the kids. First of all, first of all, I got ahead of myself because I got all distracted going to the the web and showing you that that wiki stub. All right, so let's just get reacquainted with this. Uh, for those of you um, who played Vincent's story, Vincent had to make a choice between Naomi and his fortune, but we skipped all that in this hood. They just they just lit, like you know he lives in his house and he's dating Naomi and they. So in my Uber hood, they uh, got married under story under story progression. Uh, and start having kids right away. So he didn't have to make that choice in this hood. So anyway, she just quit her job as a barista. She was still working as a barista even after they got married and started having kids. Um, so yeah, she's a stay-at-home mom now. So let's just look at her stuff. Where's my little spreadsheet? I have spreadsheets. <laughs> I'm old-fashioned. I like to print things off. And then I use a pencil and eraser to make corrections. <laughs> Anyway, I have to look up Bitville. Here's Bitville. I found it. I got Bitville right here. All right, so we got the Oglethorpes. We have the Blaze family, the Boggle family. Sherman Boggle is one of Vincent's best friends. As a matter of fact, he's the one that set him up with Naomi. We have the Calamaris, Dan Calamari. Uh, Greg Chomsky. Johnny Cullen and Samantha Hayden. Okay, the thing about Samantha Hayden is in the original storyline, she was the crazy ex-girlfriend that did lots of weird shit. Like, she drugged people, and and she just did a lot of crazy-ass shit. Uh, so she ended up with some guy named Johnny Cullen in the original storyline. So in this Uberhood, they are together. They are a couple. They have um, a boy and a girl. 
And then we've got Vincent Morris. So there's actually only one, two, three, four, five. There's only seven families in this hood, which is very small. This is actually all the families only fit on one page on, on one spreadsheet, like back, front and back. Which is like that's the only one that only that has the least amount. I think this has the least amount of families, to be honest with you. Anyway, let's look up. I think the Moors are on the second page. Yeah. So Vincent's a Gemini. He is a pleasure fortune Sam. Music and dance are his hobby. He's a business tycoon. He actually starts out as a business tycoon. He's already maxed out his. Um, yeah, he's he has already maxed out his uh, his career. So at this point, he can either retire and do something fun or just be a rich person and hang around and do things and work on his hobbies and stuff like that. Uh, because I do have a career pack that allows you to quit your, like retire from your regular job and just be a rich person and not work. But you, for, to, from other people's perspectives, you still look like you're working. So for instance, uh, that's what she is. She's a dynamic descendant. This is one of the choices you get. So you can either be a dynamic descendant or you could be a freelancer if you want to work, like do things at home and just make money from home, writing articles, giving financial advice, uh, making paintings, uh, growing a garden and selling the vegetables, whatever. Uh, and what's the other one? The other one is a speculator. So a speculator would be like somebody who owns a business. So if these guys, these guys have so much money, they have over 200,000. Um, that they could buy one of the businesses and just just run it instead. So if you cl if you click on the Sim Blender, you can see you can actually get this at um, I'm pretty sure you get it at MTS. It's an MTS mod. So if you go under Careers, it will show up. I have a lot of NPC crews in here. Here we go. Okay, this is it. These are the three that you get from MTS, business owner. And when you do business owner, it says spirited speculator. Uh, if you choose legacy, which means you just inherited the money, you're a dynamic descendant. And if you're a freelancer, I forget what it says. But anyway, it from so you know how some people get turned off by people who are unemployed? So this allows you to like just have a job without actually having a job because there's no set hours. As you can see, it's 12 a.m. to 12 a.m. Right? There's no actual hours. Um, so, yeah, you can just, if you're a business owner, you shouldn't be working anyway. You should just be working at your business. A freelancer allows you, your sim, to just make money at home doing all kinds of things. And still appear to be somebody who works for a living. So, anyway, those are the three things. You can get this at MTS. I don't remember who did it. Anyway. Uh, I highly recommend you get that one because it, it it allows you to be more immersive. Because, for instance, Malcolm Langrab owns two businesses. Uh, and he really shouldn't be working an actual job. He should be working at his businesses full time. So that's just one example. Okay, he's making mango. I don't know what it is, but it's like a breakfast dish. All right, I don't know what she's doing. Is she having a bath? What is she doing? Why are you... Okay, she's having a bath. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, she is kind of stinky. So go ahead. Oh, she she has... Uh, oh, wait. To get back to getting to know this family again, I'm getting ahead of myself. She's got the trait never nude. The never nude trait. <laughs> so she never takes her clothes off. <laughs> that's why That's why she's bathing in her bathing suit. I mean, she's uh, bathing, bathing in her... Oh, swimsuit. I'm having trouble speaking today. She's bathing in her swimsuit. Anyway, let's get back to Victor. So anyway, that's what uh, Gemini, Pleasure, Fortune, uh, Music, Dance. He 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 was already maxed out before we even start playing him. So he I, he's not he does not in a, has any career things that I can do with him because he's maxed out. I suppose we could have him retire at this point, but he is the main breadwinner. With a stay-at-home mother. So maybe he should just keep doing that. He's never gotten the membership for music and dance. I suspect he's got that weird bug. So if somebody in, in your uh, household is not getting the membership, they probably have that weird bug. Go over to the bat box. This is my bat box now. And what you do is... Okay, it doesn't look like he's got the bug, guys. If he had the bug, it would say fix 
hobby memberships. But it doesn't say that. So which means he doesn't have the bug. He just has to work on his music and dance skill, which we'll do later. So yeah, that's something that, and also even if he did have the bug and I clicked on fix uh, missing hobby memberships, you would have to go into the hood and come back into the household to fix it properly. So if you do find it, now let's see, does she have it? Yeah, she has it. Oh, that's why she was looking through the telescope, you guys. She's a science nerd. He's tinkering. Kitty is science. Oh God, everybody's, are you kidding? Are you kidding me? Naomi is arts and crafts. Vincent is music and dance and all the kids are either science, tinkering, science, tinkering. Okay, that's crazy. I've never seen that before in my life. Anyway, yeah, so like I said, the next time you suspect that uh, they're, they're, they have that broke, that weird bug, go to those the, the sim, the bat box. And I think it's either under nuke or fix. I think it's under fix. Just try both of them. <laughs> if they do have the bug, it will show up. But in his case, he just hasn't played music enough. All right. So let's look at Naomi. Oh, wait. First of all, what is his uh, LTW? Win five dance contests and maximize body and dance skills. Okay. I might have to change that one. Uh, let's look at his traits. Workaholic. Well, that's true. Hydrophobic, which means he hates taking showers, baths, and he will not autonomously get into the pool or the ocean <laughs> or the jacuzzi. <laughs> he's a snob. He's unlucky. He's overly emotional. He's flirty. He's a vehicle enthusiast, and he's a kleptomaniac. Which means he he has a higher chance of stealing autonomously. Uh, he likes blue, hates black. He's got laundry detergent in his thing, so he can actually do the laundry. All right, let's look at Naomi. Naomi is Pisces, popularity, fortune, arts and crafts are, are, is her hobby. She is a stay-at-home mom. And her LTW is what now? Sew 100 items on the sewing machine. It used to be 2,500, but I actually lowered that myself in the SimPE file. So the person that made these extra LTWs, uh, her name's Lamar, and she gives step-by-step -step instructions on how to change the values, the original values. Uh, in SimPE, it's super duper easy. You just have to open a very specific file and change the numbers. So the original number, like I said, was 2,500 items on the sewing machine, which is an insane amount of items to sew. So I'd lower the numbers for everything. Like for instance, repairing cars used to be 50 cars. It is, it is impossible to repair 50 cars in a lifetime. So I actually lowered it to five. Um, so that's just one example. So you can change those values in her, in her, uh, her new mod, the 50 LTW mod. So anyway, that's why it's only a hundred sewable items. All right, so that's actually doable. That one's doable. I guess we could get Vincent to win a dance contest, but we'd have to start working on his dance skill instead of his music skill. So we'll set up like a dance studio downstairs. Either that or we're going to have to change his LTW. All right, so let's look at her stuff. We already know she's never nude. Because she's never nude. She's handy. She's also a snob like her husband. She's rebellious. She's good. She's a light sleeper, she's a perfectionist, and she's irresistible. She likes purple and hates blue. And she's already made some pot holders. So she's already actually sewed a few things. Someone shared their lowered numbers. Yes, yes, I saw that. But you can just change them yourself. It's super easy. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Because, I, it, you know, I get, my brain gets overwhelmed when you have to do things that are very hard. So if I can figure it out, like, the directions are really easy. You just have to click on the file and look for the value and change it. That's it. And then save the file. Or you could download the file that Nemertes just mentioned in my Discord. She posted it in Discord if you don't want to do that, which I understand some people don't want to use uh, SimPE. I totally get it. Anyway, let's go down the list. we got Nancy, their eldest, who's about to become a teenager. She, so far, she's a light sleeper, so she got that from her mom. She's grumpy. I don't know 
where she got that from. Where did she get that from? I don't think she got it from either. Yeah, neither, neither one of her parents are grumpy. And neurotic. Yeah. So the, these two are new, but she inherited Light Sleeper from her mom. Uh, favorite color is red. We don't know what her disliked color is, so we're going to have to get the color trait randomizer out for that one. Uh, Vinny. Vinny likes orange. Okay, we're going to have to actually gussy him up with orange stuff. He loves the heat. He's insane. But he's brave. <laughs> so we might turn him into a, an NPC firefighter when he becomes an adult. <laughs> He did not inherit anything from either of his parents. So there's a 50% chance that you're going to inherit uh, one of the traits from your parents. He didn't inherit anything. And she just inherited one thing. Kitty. Kitty is also insane. What? The, where are they getting this from? She also hates the outdoors, but she likes purple, which I think her mom likes. Does her mom like purple? Yeah, she likes purple. Hates blue. All right, and uh, last but not least, Alan. Also likes orange like his older brother. He's excitable and clumsy. Hold on. Okay, didn't get that from his mother. Yeah, they didn't. Yeah, he he's, he also inherited. Well, he got two. Th so far, he has two things that neither one. So, I don't know. That's a pretty good eclectic mix. Two of them like purple, two like orange. She likes red. And he likes blue. Okay. It's a nice, nice uh, mix. It's a nice variety, I think. I think a lot of them have repeat um, signs, though. Let's just go through the signs very quick Pisces, Gemini, Virgo. Pisces, Scorpio, Pisces. So we've got three Pisces. Eh, that's all right. I can live with that. Anyway, let's get back to this. He's serving food, but he needs to clean up this shit. I need you to clean up all this stuff. All right, I need, sweetie, I need you to get off the piano. This is getting ridiculous. And then I need you to eat that. Actually, you know what? Your dad's going to clean that up. Go ahead and eat that. Uh, Nancy, get up here eat. She's playing with the dog. Or she was going to play with the dog. Alright, these guys are just chilling out downstairs. Um, I'm going to have the top. First of all, let's just check in and see if the toddlers need to Okay. They need to go potty. Where are the potties downstairs? I don't see any potties down here. There's. Oh, here they are. Um, I need you to get out and I need you to potty train Alan and Kitty. Like now. Because I think they both... Okay, Alan definitely has to go first. And Alan is trying is walking towards the dog food. Or he wants to walk. It's upstairs. <laughs> He's thinking of eating dog food. Let's just put it that way. I'm actually going to move this kid because he, be, he might block his mother. So we're just going to move him over a little bit. No, 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 no. Mm -mm, mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. You're not going to do that. Let's have you, I'm going to have her procrastinate. So if you have macrotastics, you could just click on the toddler, hit macro, procrastinate, so they don't engage in any other activities. They'll just sit there. Although there is a, uh, there's like a timer on it. So after like two minutes, they will start doing stuff again. So it does give you a little bit of, um, a, a little bit of time to get down there and, and pick them up. All right. So he's being potty trained. He's going to need, like, a bottle afterwards. Is there, is there, oh, there is. There's a fridge down here. We're going to give you, both of them, a bottle. And then she's going to take care of her, her own needs. All right, what's going on upstairs? Oh, the kid, oh, look at that. The two oldest are with uh, Vincent. All right, let's just take a little. You know what I'm going to do? Oh, the maid's here. She actually showed up. So what we're going to do is we're just going to move this over for the photo. And the maid can take care of that. I'm just going to do a quick photo. All right. She's actually talking about voodoo. <laughs> so I have default replacements for the thought bubbles that are from TS4. Oh, but but not all the thought bubble subjects have been um, replaced. 
So if you read the file, it says not all of them were replaced with TS4 Why images. Oh, he's like, no, I don't like voodoo. There we go. Mm. All right, so at least these guys are being taken mm -hmm. care of. Um, all right, so she's still working. Okay, so he's done. Now go pick her up. Yeah, she's still procrastinating, so which is good for her because now the mom can just pick her up. And take her over there. All right, so we're going to have him work on stuff. He's, he already has two logic. So I like my toddlers to get two of everything before they age up. I don't always get that. But, so now we're going to have him work on that. On uh, the xylophone. Okay, the dogs are, dogs are in the way. Per usual. Alright, what's going on with uh, Kitty? Kitty has one mechanical, one creativity. So we'll get her to work on the other stuff. Also, if I get one of these things out, they can work on their fitness enthusiasm and their body skills. But that's two separate files. So there's two files you have to download to get the kids to get on these by themselves autonomously. And then there's a, the second file is for them to gain body skill and fitness enthusiasm while they're on it. Unfortunately, they they gain body skills too quickly, I feel. So I usually just take the body skills off eventually because if they ride on it long enough, the next thing you know, they have four body skill points, which I think is a little unrealistic. Like I could see them getting one body skill point riding on it constantly, but it's not that difficult to ride on these things. I mean, you do work some muscles, but it's, you know, not doesn't justify four body skill points. So I usually just take them off before they age up into children. So anyway, they can't autonomously get on there by themselves. All right. So after this, I'm going to have her go over here. We're going to get a bottle for Kitty. We're going to get a bottle for Alan. Ma the maid is definitely earning her keep today. All right, so I'm going to have her go over here so she can get the bottle from her mom. And I'm going to have him stop the xylophone and go over here. And then after that, I'm going to let them... Um, I'm just going to put dog beds down here for the toddlers. <laughs> Don't judge me. Actually, I could use these mats instead. Let's go ahead and use these mats. I'm going to put a yellow one over here. And I'm going to use this one. I'm going to put them side by side. I think they can overlap a little bit. Yeah, I think they can overlap a, a little bit. If I do that, I might as well just use the same color at that point. There we go. Oop, oop, oop. There we go. Because the child will basically lie, like, right in the middle. That's why they can overlap. As a matter of fact, you can even put furniture, like, over here, like a bookcase, and they, they'll be clear. Cause, so, they like, basically, they, they'll sleep right here. So, you can't have furniture overlap these objects, and it's not a big deal. There's not going to be any clipping or weird issues. So, anyway, they can put themselves to bed on these mats. And I don't have a problem putting these mats down because people use these in real life. Like kids will just, they'll have a mat they can sleep on if they want. Okay, so now at this point, little girl needs a bath. She didn't get one yesterday. So unfortunately, Naomi, you're not done down here. You're going to give a bath to Kitty. And I think the dogs might need baths. Yeah. Pippa needs a bath. Andre needs a bath. And, oh, God, Hudson really needs a bath. Uh, now, in terms of Alan, he's about to go to sleep. So I'm just going to have him continue working on the xylophone. And when he's tired, he'll put himself to sleep right here. Took a little nap there. Let's check upstairs and see what's going on upstairs. Vincent's having a shower. He's hungry. Even though he just ate, he's hungry. All right, the eldest child, Kitty, 
is putting food away. Of course she's putting food away. Um, I'm going to just have her continue to look out the telescope at night, but in the day... Oh, I found the cheat object. It was on top of the st <laughs> stereo. <laughs> I'll just put that away. Also, I need to use those o the new OMSPs. I don't know if I have them in my house. I don't think I do because they would be showing up right now. So let's just get those new OMSPs out. I switched over to new OMSPs. Oh, okay. So we're going to use this one for the microwave. This one for the coffee maker. So I used to use the Lord Darcy ones. There we go. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put the hot chocolate maker over here. The thing about the hot chocolate maker, I don't think people understand is that although children can't make hot chocolate once they once an adult makes it they can drink the hot chocolate and it gives them a little bit of caffeine so it helps kids wake up so if you need them to wake up uh have them drink some hot chocolate also there's a mod by i believe it's by squinge from inseminator it's called more caffeine and it, it actually gives them more caffeine than the vanilla game does same thing with the coffee you get more caffeine from both objects. Um, anyway, I'm going to have these two together since we have so many kids in this house. Um, I'm going to put the rice cooker on the angle over here. This is by Jackie93. It gives you like really cool dishes that you could make. And I've got the toaster, of course. Got this beautiful little toaster from Jackie93. So what I'm going to do is I don't think I could put one over there. So this will give us some extra counter space. For those of you who don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> it gives them extra places to put stuff. Dirty dishes, things like that. Oh, I'm going to put one over here. And there's already one here. So, I mean, this is already, this is already built into the cut the thing. But so it's, it's kind of like redundant for me to do that. But you definitely want to put it between cabinets. It's always good to put it between cabinets. So I have one here in the middle between the toaster. So now people can put things in front of the toaster. So this is actually redundant what I'm doing. I'm doing it though on purpose. So I'm putting one here, here, and between these two cupboards is what I'm doing. They work anywhere, even mid-air, but of course you don't want that. <laughs> no. So we are going to work a little bit on the house in terms of, um, so for those of you who are new to my stream, when I'm redecorating a house, my brain gets overwhelmed with the different wallpapers and stuff like that. So what I usually do is I just give one color for the walls and one color for the floors so I can start from scratch. It's like a clean slate kind of thing. That's why the floors are all the same. I'm not keeping the floors this color. Obviously, this room is going to be mostly black because it's for the adults. Or it's going to be some color that's dark, you know, because we have like a a, cu a Cuban, uh, cubic, excuse me, a cubic um, aesthetic going on here. This is from the cubic folder, which was an e a free EA store pack back in the day. So this is like for the adults. This is for the adults. Um... And then, of course, this is going to be all children, all children. And when they be, and when the kids become teenagers, we might actually put a billiards table down there and a poker table. The only thing I think I'm going to put down here right now is don't wake the llama. I think I'm definitely going to make room for don't wake the llama. But we are going to have to start seriously thinking about putting desks in here. Um, I think I'm going to be able to squeeze two one tile desks in here for these two. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can put two one-tile desks in here and still have room for like a toy box, but they do share this bathroom, so I can't block this door right here, obviously. So the, yeah, this is a, yeah. 
I'm very happy with the, the way the house turned out. The, obviously, I didn't make this house, but the original house looked like this, and I didn't want to ruin this aesthetic that's going on here. I didn't want to put a second story up here. So what I did was I added extra space and lot adjuster to give them a double car garage because they literally had no space to, to park a car. Um, this was the original bathhouse over here. I think I'm going to actually lower this roof for a little bit. Because the pitch is really high. I mean, the pitch has to be high for this part of the house, but not the not the guest house. Because this used to be the guest house. So we're going to lower this down to 15 degree pitch. Hello? There we go. That's a 15 degree pitch. That's as, that's as low as you can go with a roof. That looks a lot better. And I might get rid of these things. These are actually driving me nuts. These half walls. I mean, the whole reason for these half holes is for privacy, but fuck it. <laughs> Just they, they're kind of bugging me a little bit. So the only thing I changed about this house is the 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 the, uh, the brick. I changed this this part, the wood part, so now that has a vertical siding instead, and it has like a a different brick. But the windows, I believe, the windows are pretty much the same, a reddish brown window aesthetic. So anyway, they have a, a two-car driveway now. Now, the, what I did inside is that, let's see if I can get this down. Um, okay, so I made a loft for Naomi because she's into arts and crafts. So I did like a, a loft with a ladder. You see this ladder? She will go up this ladder and paint. So this is an artist loft over here. This is her bedroom. Over here, we're going to set up like a pottery place or something like that I don't know I don't know what we're going to do over here we're going to do something so that's what we did with this half of the house this has this half just has high high vaulted ceilings so there's a high vaulted ceiling in the living room and the kitchen and there's a wall between the two of them to separate them so that's the well, that's the only thing I did with the house I haven't changed the pool at all so all this is original I haven't done anything over here and I cleaned out this room. This room used to have like all kinds of shit in here. And I just cleaned it out for the rabbit, Dave. That's his name, Dave. I might put some fish tanks in here. I don't know. There's a stereo. There's a dog. The dog bath is here. But yeah, that's pretty much the original uh, upkeep. This is their original bedroom furniture, by the way. I did not change that. That's the same. I totally redid this part. This is like my pride and joy. It took me forever to, to come up with, with something that would work in this room. Because it's like the front door. You know, which is kind of weird. But anyway. Um, and then, of course, these are the original cabinets. I did make the kitchen bigger, though. The kitchen was super duper small. And there was like a little dining area over here, which I didn't like. So I got rid of that altogether. And this is, of course, like the seating area for the adults. <laughs> and, of course... A brand new basement. I did that. You guys know how much I love basements. <laughs> I like that house. Oh, thank you, Heritage. Yeah, we're going to improve upon it in this stream. We're going to start decorating it some more. Oh, wait. Who's in the bath? Oh, oh, okay. Hold on. She's still giving a bath. I think to Kitty. Yeah. I feel sorry for Naomi. It's, it's lunchtime and she hasn't had coffee. She hasn't had food. <laughs> She's just been going at it nonstop. Oh, God. <laughs> Poor thing. Of course, Vincent. The only thing the wrong with Vincent is that he's hungry. That's it. But he has to work on his music and dance. So if we're going to let him keep this LTW right here of winning five dance contests, he's got to, he's got to work on his dance skill. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have him, first of all, have one more plate of food. And then he's going to turn this on and he's just going to dance to work on his dance skill. Now, the dance skill has seven levels, I believe. Uh, just there's seven. And it's one of the few skills that's invisible. So if you, if you go to, hold on. There's a whole list of invisible skills. Now, there are cheat objects that you can access to tell you what level you're at with the invisible skills. Like fishing, for instance, is an invisible skill. With, I believe seven levels. Mm -hmm. 
pretty sure I'm pretty sure this article will talk about the hidden skills. Dancing and fishing is definitely one. Hello. As you can see, I have a new browser. I got rid of Google Chrome because I was told Google Chrome is a resource hog, and it turns out it really is a resource hog. Secret or hidden skills are skills that a sim can gain with practice but will not appear in the interface. Okay. So they are study, chess, yoga, painting, writing, meditation, dancing, pool, tai chi, and drafting. Study, chess, yoga, painting, writing, meditation, dancing. I thought there was another one. I thought fishing was one of them. Oh, is fishing a separate thing? Let me go back. Hold on. Let me go back to the other skill page. Is fishing considered just a regular skill? There it is. Fishing was right there. It was, it was just here. Maybe it's it's considered like a different type of skill. I just went past it. Let me just do this. There we go. Fishing. Oh, it's a ta it's a talent badge thing. I didn't know. What? No, 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 no. The Sims Two. Okay, The Sims Two is the second article, so it is a talent badge. I did not know fishing. I thought it was one of the hidden skills or secret skills. Okay. Sims 2 Seasons. I didn't know you get you got badges with that. I thought it was just one of those secret skill things. Badges. No badge. You just use worm bait. Okay, so if you had a gold badge in fishing, you could use a sparkle spinner and a gold. You get golden trout. See, I didn't know any of this. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I'm going to go back to, to secret skills again. I just learned something new. <laughs> so God says, so let's go down to dancing. This is a hidden skill that involves Sims getting better at the activity of dancing. Sims who are bottom end of the skill have very entertaining actions and moves. Teen Sims that achieve a high level in the dancing skill can qualify for the 1000 Simoleon saying foot footwork award for university. A Sim with relatively good dancing skill has access to the social entertain buster move which is available to use on Sims at a relatively low lifetime relationship of 20 to 30 and increased lifetime relationship by one or two points. So you also have pool, tie, cheat. Anyway, there are cheat objects that will tell you what your actual secret skill level is. I don't know if it's the Sim manipulator, so don't quote me on that. Anywho, let's go back. Nancy is doing her own thing. I'm going to let Nancy do her own thing. She's earned that right. She should have Mechanical 2 and Charisma 2 and Creativity 2, but I'm going to let her play with the dog because it's Sunday. And what's Vinny Jr. doing? Vinny has no discernible skills. We need to do something about that. All right, you, get over here. I need you to learn fire safety because I know damn well you haven't learned fire safety. He'll learn physiology in high school. That's my rule. All Everybody has to know fire safety and physiology. But because he's a child, we're going to skip that till high school. So then we're going to have him work on some of the other stuff because it looks like when he was a toddler, he didn't get those any any skills except creativity. So we're going to have to do something about that. Where's the ch Okay, we're going to work on chess. We're going to just, he's going to work on his skills today. Little girl is sleeping. All right, Naomi, I need you to, hold on. What's going on with um Alan? Alan needs to be put to bed too. And then we're going to let Nancy actually catch a breath. <laughs> oh, gosh. Poor Nancy. <laughs> All right, Nancy, go for it. Pick up your son. 
no, Vincent, leave him alone. I need you to go upstairs and dance solo. I need you to work on that. This poor lady is like yellow across the board. <laughs> she's hungry, she's tired, she's uncomfortable. Is this food still good? Go ahead and eat that. She's not having fun. She's kind of getting stinky. She has to pee. T you know, typical typical household setup. Dad's upstairs dancing and mom's like busting her ass off. <laughs> That's pretty much 98% of every family I've ever known. I think there's a handful of families that where the guy did most of the work. <laughs> I could just think I could just think of one on the top of my head. That was it. Of all the families I've known in my life. So don't come at me. I know that there's there's definitely exceptions to that rule. All right. Oh, he's <laughs> Pippa is howling. I think that's so cute. I cannot chastise a dog for howling when there's music on. I just can't. Oh my god. There is the old book of talent that. Oh, that. Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. I forgot about that. You guys download the old book of talent. That's what it is. Now I am gonna get. I'm just gonna look at the sim manipulator cheat thing. And see if you can actually see if that's one of the ones where you can actually see your what your numbers are. I don't know if it is. Kill sim, alter time, creature, miscellaneous. Okay, is this is this the hidden skill thing? Painting multiplier, meditation, study, pools. Oh it is! This is shows your your hidden skill number. Pool skill, writing, multiplayer, abductions, grilled cheese, eaten, dance skill is two. His, his dance skill is two already, you guys. Dream dates, first dates, makeouts, woohoo total. Oh, wow, he hasn't woohooed very much. Um, gender preference, lot stats, max visitors, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so this is one of the things you can get your stats from. But you can't, I don't think you can study, oh, sorry, my bad. You can't study it. I think that the object that Nemertes is talking about is, um, hello, is uh, you could actually study those things from the old book of talent, like Tai Chi, meditation, things like that. Oh. Yoga is another one of them. What, uh, I'm sorry, where did you go? Why did you stop dancing? No, you're not going to have a fucking drink. Oh. Music and dance is your hobby and you like, you never do it. Maid's like, what the fuck kind of family have I gotten myself into? <laughs> Alright, so she's finally eating, so that's good. Then she's going to pee after this. She's going to take a quick shower. And then she's going to work on... Uh, she actually has to work on sewing. So we're going to take her down to the laundry sewing room. She's going to keep making potholders. And I'll work on that badge. She's actually using the pool. Unbelievable. You, come over here and get in the pool with your sister. After you're done fire safety. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Is the maid gone? Okay, you see you see what he did? The little fucker sneaked in and sneaked in a drink without Oh my god, I gotta keep an eye on this dude. Now he's hungry again. Okay, you know what? Just keep dancing. I have to be a slave driver with this guy and keep my eye on him. And she's kind of hungry again, too. All right, the kids are in the pool. Lita. Well, he's supposed to be in the pool. Get in there. Uh, oh, my God, just jump in the pool. You can do it, little buddy. There you go. All right, play Marco Polo with your sister. Dad's just having a stiff drink over here. <laughs> it's just does not want to dance. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give up. Uh, come over here and serve lunch. Actually, we need to change the... Hold on. I think I have to change the serving controller to four. Oh... 
I think it's at the default eight. Let's go ahead and change this to four. Now that the, the two kids are, two of their kids, their meal size is now set to four. Go ahead and make a meal. We're going to have a bibimbap bowl with mushrooms. I don't think I'm pronouncing that correctly. I apologize. Uh, what are you doing, Nancy? What are you doing? Oh, right, right. Sewing, sewing. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing downstairs? <laughs> All right, when Kitty gets up, she's going to work on her charisma. When Alan wakes up, he's going to work on... Actually, before you sew, I need you to clean this table because it's messy. Because I don't think the kids can do any stuff right now. Oh. Make a bunch of pod holders. When the kids are well rested, he's going to work on uh, his mechanical skill over there. Okay, uh, Nancy's pod holder. I'm going to make it in blue. I have extra colors for pod holders, so you can use them as decoration. They make cute little decorations if you get, like, all of them. All right, for some reason, he just doesn't like to swim. Okay, so we need to actually work on... He needs to work on stuff. He's, he's one of those toddlers that we just forgot about. Which happens. Carpool for Hudson will arrive in an hour. Wait a second, hold up. Does Pippa have a job? Yeah, she's an extra. But she's got today off. Okay, that's why I haven't seen her go to work. Does Andre works today from 7 p.m. to 2 a.m.? He's a... Okay, he's security one. Hudson is... Um, uh, service one. <laughs> I, had a, I had a senior moment right there. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> All right. So she has to learn how to speak to get to get a promotion. Andre has to learn how to stay. Hudson has to learn how to shake. You know what we're going to do? Tomorrow we're going to... Tomorrow she's going to work on the toddler's uh, skills. Because they don't know, and none of them know any skills. Not even the eldest toddler. So, and then we're going to hire a dog obedience trainer to take care of these guys. This poor maid. <laughs> All right, you play some chess. I want you to get up to two logic skill points for that. Nancy, you can't stay in the pool all day. You're going to have to... Why don't you... All right, you need to work on mechanical. Why don't you study some mechanical? Get out of the pool. You're going to turn into a prune, as my mother used to say. She loves saying shit like that. She's actually not hungry right now, but I'm going to have that? Dad just put it on the table anyway. All right, Mom, take a break from sewing. Come up here. You've deserved it. I'm just going to do this so they sit at the table and actually eat their food. Just bring it down a little bit. They should be hungry anyway. Just like just enough for them to finish the food. All right, everybody has to get into their regular clothes. I don't think I like that outfit on her. I'm going to change that outfit. I'm going to have to do some gussying up, especially with this one, because he just became a child. All right, you, get over here. Oh, sticky dog. I'm going to get Vince to take care of that. He's just been drinking all day. <laughs> uh, all right, all right. Oh, he doesn't like the dog alley. You, knock it off. You have to go to work. Your carpool's waiting. Go, go. Who the fuck are you? Kendall Lawson, what are you doing here? I'm sorry. Why is the... Oh, she's not a nanny anymore. I retired her and moved her into one of the orphanages. So yeah, she's she's in charge of the boys' orphanage in, in uh, this Uberhood. I have a girls' orphanage and a boys' orphanage. Yeah, okay. I was like, why is the nanny here? 
<laughs> I gotta get her dressed in a different outfit because this is the new default replacement for the nanny outfit. So yeah, gotta put her in regular street clothes. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get another little picture here. That's a cute little picture. This poor maid, it's like 5.30. She's probably going to say, I got to go now. <laughs> it's getting late. <laughs> My dad has to pee now. It's always something with dad. <laughs> All right. What about mom? Mom's actually good for a change. <laughs> Sorry. All right. I'm going to have her just go downstairs and keep sewing. I'm going to let her just do whatever she wants the rest of the day. But we need to get work on her sewing badges for sure. So, um, keep making that pot holder. Little girl, what are we going to do with you? You're actually tired for a change. All right. Um, nap. She wants to take a nap. Um, is there any hot chocolate? Oh, there is hot chocolate made. I don't know who made hot chocolate, but there's hot chocolate there. Go ahead and get some caffeine in you. Because I want you to stay up and actually uh, do this telescope today. All right, what's mom doing? Oh, mom's going downstairs. Dad's just still eating. And then we're going... Actually, I want him to finish this. And then we'll work on the dance skill tomorrow. All right, what's the little boy doing? Oh, he's got to pee. Um, come downstairs to pee. In in your bathroom. And also, you need a shower. And what is your hobby? Tinkering? Oh shit, I don't have any tinkering related stuff. Um, you can't use a toy workbench. You could do use a remote control. Oh, there's also the um, the other one. I was going to turn this into like a uh, exercise room, but I'm I think temporarily I'm just going to put the train set in here. It does take up a lot of space. Like a lot of space. <laughs> All right. So that'll be his thing. Oh, damn. And then when he gets tired, he can put himself to bed. Well, she's got her little red mug. <laughs> oh, God. All right, so when she's ready, I'm going to have her look through the telescope. Should probably get rid of the tree that's, like, right in front of the telescope. Or is, no, that's, that's a, okay, I can't get rid of that tree. So we're going to have to move this then. Or can I? Oh, I can't get rid of it. Okay, never mind. There we go. Why can't I click on this? Am I having another senior moment? Something just broke. I think this is broken. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to get a new one. Okay, I don't know why, but she can she not look through this? She can look through the telescope on her own. She was looking through the telescope by herself earlier. So I'm not ex exactly sure what's going on. Yeah, she was autonomously using this telescope on the very first day during the daytime. Okay. Maybe it's, I don't know. It's, do I have a mod that keeps him from doing that? I don't know. 
Oh, now she could use it. Oh, I do have a mod where she can't. Oh, okay. All right, because she was autonomously using the, the telescope during the day. That's what fucked me up. On the very first day we were playing this family, she was looking at it through the day. So she can autonomously do it during the day, but I can't tell her to do it. Because apparently I have a mod that keeps me from doing that. Okay. That kind of makes sense. All right. Go do some stargazing. Whew. Got that out of the way. All right. Uh, you. Let's just double check the bat box to make sure you do not have that weird bug. You do not have that weird bug. So you should get your hobby membership any second now. I don't allow hobby mavens in my game. So what I do is I turn off the stealth hoods for the Seasons uh, expansion pack. So there's no Hobby Mavens. Not only that, but you have to download a separate mod on top of that. So when they get their membership, what happens is they get a little box up here saying they got their Hobby membership. So no Hobby Mavens show up at my house at 3 o'clock in the morning. Just come into my house uninvited, <laughs> which is kind of creepy. Uh, so instead I get a box and it has like... um. It doesn't have a face. It's like a shadow figure that says you now have access to the, the hobby lots. But that's a separate mod. So you, you can't just shut off the stealth hood. Um, because the game will just create hobby mavens, more hobby mavens for you. You need to also get that mod. So it's like a two-step process. If that makes sense. Alright, he should be getting his membership any second now. Alright, Kitty has charisma now. Hold on. Gotta check out what's going on down here. Charisma? She's got one charisma. It's the mystery symbol, but I think the one that CS made Sims get memories of kissing if they have no partner. Let me just double check. That's actually a good point. Let me double check. Sims 2. Uh, hobby. I think it's Hobby Mavens. I know that, no, it's, okay, this is Midge the Tree. Okay, so this is what Midge the Tree said. I don't send my sims to the Max's Hobby Lots, and I use empty neighborhood templates. That's that's what I was talking about, these shutting off the stealth hoods. Uh, so no hobby spam and no hobby instructors regen, loaded in that order, are enough to completely eliminate hobby mavens and their phone calls for me. This combination functions similar to the Mystery Sim version of Simnopki's No Hobby Stalkers mod, except I use the plaque membership recipient's face instead of a Mystery Sim face, and I still let Hobby Maven's faces be used if you decide to spawn some later. Nopki also has a No Rewards version that skips giving Sims plaques and memberships entirely should you wish. So I use No Hobby Stalkers, and... No hobby instructors, I believe. I use both of those. With this mod, iconic hobbyists should not appear and the game should not try to find or create them except outside secret hobby lots because this mod makes no one call to inform you that some hobby club is looking for new members or to prompt you to subscribe to a magazine. And also, iconic hobbyists... Do not come to give you Sims Hobby Club membership cards or special plaques. This mod comes in two versions. No reward. Sims do not get special plaques or Hobby Club membership cards due to a high level of enthusiasm in a hobby for a hobby. They still can get those cards at work or at school. No dialogues will appear. Or the Mystery Sim version. Sims still get the above rewards. No one comes to give you those. Only dialogues spoken about a Mystery Sim appear. That's the one I have. The Mystery Sim version where you get this little box. And it shows like a shadow face. But it looks like Midge the Tree has a different version. She used something else. So in the, in the vanilla version of the game, you get these dialogues showing up. You get, well done. Your enthusiasm knows no bounds. Or you say, hello, Don. I'm here to pump you up with some muscular information. Come to the Platinum Gym with your new membership cards. You don't get these. You don't get this one. Hello, you've been selected to try out your new magazine. You don't get that one. And here's the fourth one. Hello, I hear you've been learning about fitness. I want to let you know that Platinum Gym is looking for enthusiastic new members. Okay, so this is all, it, it disappears. So not only do you have to make a, shut off the stealth hood when you're creating a new hood, to, to not even generate the hobby mavens. 
Uh, this is what shows up. But you can get versions of this mod that actually, like, Midge the Tree apparently uses a version where the, the actual Hobby Maven's face will show up in the picture, but they just don't show up to your house at 3 o'clock in the morning. There's also silence, no, no dialogues at all. So there's actually three versions of this, no rewards at all, or you get your memberships, but there's no pop-ups. You, you just automatically get your membership or you get this version. This is the version I have. So I actually do have these dialogues pop up right up here in the upper right hand uh, corner. So anyway, that's what I have. Let's, let's go back to, let's go back to what Midge the tree was saying, because I did not know about this, this little stub. So the, this is the, the, the important part. You have to use the empty neighborhood templates, which Midge the, um, Meet Me to the River can show you how to shut them off, the, the stealth uh, templates. No hobby spam. I believe I do have no hobby spam. I believe that is a Pescado mod. Okay, so she uses this mod instead of the Simnaki one. No hobby instructor regen. So I'm actually going to download this because I don't want my game ever creating any hobby mavens. They're also called hobby mavens. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Hobby instructors, hobby mavens. Okay, you read, the, read the instructions that she posts here. When your Sims gain enough enthusiasm to earn a plaque membership, the pop-up alerting you to your Sims new plaque membership will still appear, but the, instru the instructor won't barge into your lot, and if there are no existing hobby instructors in the appropriate hobby, none will be generated. Hobby instructors should still be generated in instructorless neighborhoods upon loading the hobby lots. It must, it must load after Pescado's hobby, no hobby spam, but otherwise the two should play nicely together. I'm 100% sure I have that in my game. Let me just quickly go to my desktop. Oh, I don't have that. I took it out. I don't know why I didn't. Oh, I know why I took it out because the Simnaki one told me to. Yeah, I think the Simnaki one told me to. So, I mean, Bitch the Trees, Bitch, Bitch the Trees setup is very similar to the setup I have. So you can use either one. You can use either one. If you want to get rid of the, all the hobby shit. Anyway. Um, let's go back to the game. Oh, you see what's going on right here? You see how it's dark? Sometimes the, the lighting on an object gets all wonky. And you have to, like, pick it up to reset it. I don't know why it does that. See, it, it's not resetting. This should be yellow. This should be yellow. <laughs> it's not resetting for whatever reason. I don't know why. But sometimes when things turn like this dark blue color, it's because the lighting file is all wonky. So I'm not sure what's going on there. So usually when you pick it up, it does go back to its regular color, and it's just not doing it this time. Hi, Jean. Happy New Year. This is the mystery sim. <laughs> but there's different ways that you could do it. Like I said, Midge the Tree's version um, uses a different setup with the uh, Pescado mod, which I had to take out because it just didn't play nicely with the Sim Nofki setup. So there's different ways to get rid of them. All right. So at least at least uh, Vinny Jr. knows that um, tinkering is his thing now. If he did not see, he already has one here. Uh, I'm going to assume he's really tired. So it's eight o'clock. We're going to put Vinny to bed. All right, you go to bed. Um, his sister is very close to getting uh, science enthusiasm. Now, when she's a teenager, I don't think she can get pregnant because um, unless you get a special mod, I don't think she. Uh, yeah, you need a special mod to allow t uh, teenagers to get pre alien pregnant. 
in my I don't think I allow that in my game. I could. All right, he's going to bed. What's going on with the kids? She has to pee again. So where's Naomi? Okay, Vincent's playing the piano. Where's Naomi? Oh, she's just chilling out. Did you eat? I think you, you're you still a little bit hungry. I think you should just have a little more food. And then you need to come down and bring uh, take these kids to the potty and put them to bed. All right, who has to pee the most? All right, um, yeah, he needs to pee the most. I need you to stop what you're doing. Come over here. Mom is going to take you to the potty. Did he get his membership? He should have got his... Oh, yep, he has his membership, guys, so it's not broken. All right, dude. I need you to stop. And I need you to just dance. Tomorrow we're bathing the dogs and we're going to work on the toddler skills. I may or may not retire him. I don't know what his um, retirement package would be, but he's got almost 300000 so he starts out it's like super rich when you first start opening this uh, neighborhood. So I'm pretty sure they'll be able to get by on retirement income. Because technically speaking, he, he's in his like mid 40s or so at this point. So yeah, you could retire early because he's supposed to own that. He's supposed to own this. Um. All right, if you don't like it, you're just gonna have to scold him. I don't like scolding dogs, but he won't stop. Or she won't stop. Knock it off! You're not even a hound dog. I think she's stuck in like a, a loop or something. Floor. Floor phobin. Ushi floor. <laughs> That's the first time I've done that in quite a while. So I think some dogs get stuck in like a loop. But uh, loop animations are like a thing in this game. I've seen mods that are supposed to take care of some of the looping. Like very specific loops that are the most common. Oh my god. Really? Okay, you're so stinky. You know what? I can't, I can't take it anymore. Give this dog a bath. Where's the, do where's the uh, dog bath over here? Uh, no. Where's the dog bath? Oh, it's upstairs. Duh. <laughs> it's upstairs, right? Yeah, it's over here. Okay, who's the stinky doggy? It's Pippa. G give Pippa a bath. The other two are at work right now, so. All right, you, Pippa, get over there. Come here. All right, what's going on downstairs? Oh, all right. Cool, cool. Potty train kitty. Kitty, I need you to stop whatever it is you're doing. Also, also the kids are going to get another bottle before they go to bed. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah. <sighs> so we're going to click on him and we're going to go macro hominate. Or whatever. Cross procrastinate, not hominate. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so in 10 minutes, I'm going to take another break because I was a little late for my last break because I have to pee. <laughs> oh, God. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Finally, you get to make it to my stream. How are you? Oh, my God. I'm halfway through a rotation with this family and their four crazy kids. We're going to be redecorating the house tomorrow. I like to redecorate like a little bit at a time. I don't like to do it in one fell swoop. So this is our fourth rotation with this family. So we're going to work on the basement, the kitchen. I like to do it in bits and bobs, you know. Sp spread the love, as my stepfather used to say. <laughs> you see how it says, Naomi has the night off. Um, that's part of that, that career pack where you can either be a business owner, a freelancer, or just um, an heiress or an heir to a fortune. 
it, it always tells you every single night at 10 o'clock p.m. that so-and-so has the night off because they don't actually have a schedule. They, they really don't have a schedule. It's 12 a.m. to 12 a.m. Sun, Sunday to Saturday. So, and it's always, it always has five vacation days. That never changes. It's just permanently five vacation days. So, you always get these pop-ups. Just, I just ignore them. I just wanted to let you know what was going on there. Okay, you come over here. Give them both a bottle and put them to bed. Get one for Alan. Get one for Kitty. Kitty, come over here. You come here. So anyway, yeah, get in the habit of clicking on your toddler and clicking on macro to get them to stay put. Because he would have definitely started a new activity if it wasn't for that. I'm going to do the same thing with her, even though she's right here. Toddlers are very good. They have like, um, after a few seconds, they get bored and they toddle off and do a different things. Which is why I think they're called toddlers, because they tend to toddle off. <laughs> I think there's a connection with that. <laughs> All right, so he's going to, oh, he's definitely going to bed. Good Lord. Um, he's really tired. He's not going to have any problems going to bed. All right, you put Alan in this one. Kitty. Kitty is, yeah. Kitty's going to go there. Where's Nancy? Is she still looking through the telescope? Oh, she is. Did she have science enthusiasm yet? She's almost there. She's actually kind of young to get a membership, but she has been autonomously using that telescope since she's been a child, so she really does like the telescope. I'm not forcing her to really do anything. All right, off you go to bed. Okay, the toddlers are in really good shape. They're green across the board. What's Vincent doing? Vincent, oh, oh, Pippa should be clean now. Let's check out Pippa. Yes, I will save my game now. <laughs> oh my gosh. You were playing Sim Stories after the story? Well, I guess you could say it's after the story because when you download the, the hoods, uh, it kind of ignores the fact. Um, okay, so what I'm doing is I'm using actual hoods that were created by the hood building group and they're completely modeled after the original standalone stories. So I'm not actually playing Sim Stories right now. I'm playing The Sims 2, and this is like a copy hood. So I, I, I actually went over this earlier. I'm going to go over it again. Oop. Let me go to my desktop. All right, so what you want to do is you're going to want to type in. I actually have this bookmarked already, but I'm going to show you how to do it. You type in Sims 2 Inhabited Hoods, and it's going to take you to this uh, uh, Sims wiki stub. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to bookmark this in your Sims folder. Um, this shows you all the inhabited hoods. So what you're, want to go, what you're going to want to do is click on Creator Uploader Column to alphabetize this column. Okay, now it's alphabetized. The hood building group existed between 2015 and 2020, and then they disbanded. But Julusa still like uh, works on some of their unfinished content and, and fixes up their old content. This is the person that uh, also uh, oversees this page. Her, her name's Jalusa. So anyway, uh, so now that this is alphabetized, we're going to go down to H for hood building group. And they did 12 hoods. Five of those hoods are based on life stories and pet stories. So what I did is that I created my own Uber hood with those hoods. That's what I did. And that's what I've been playing for the last... Um, little while I'm on the fourth rotation I don't use I don't play all the families though so right now I have 53 families and 49 different houses but I only rotationally play 12 of the families and story progression takes care of the other ones I do I do check in from time to time the other families to see what's going on in them okay here we go here's the first one the hood building group so this is Arbor Falls this is actually the free play hood in Pet Stories. So this is part of my Uber hood. Uh, this is another one they did. It's Bayside Flats. I think it might be based on one of the Sims 3 hoods, but I'm not sure. You have to like click on this link and ch check it out. This is Bitville. This is where Vincent's story takes place, and that's the hood that I'm in right now. I'm actually playing Vincent, Vincent's family. So that's the third one they did. 
Um, Emerald Tides is a, I don't know what it's based on. You're, you're going to have to check it out. I think it's based on something, either a Sims 3 or a Sims 4 hood. Not sure. Uh, Four Corners is where Riley's story takes place. So this is also in my Uber hood. Garden Heights is where Best in Show takes place. That is my main hood. Uh, Meadow Creek is another one of their hoods. It's not It's not in my Uber hood. Mesa Flats is where Midnight Masquerade takes place. That is another pet story. So there's three pet story hoods. Mesa Flats is also my downtown. So you can actually download Mesa Flats as a downtown instead. So this is my downtown. Uh, here's another one they did, Mountainside Valley. Again, I'm not sure what it's based on. I don't think it's based on anything, to be honest with you. Uh, Quaddington University. So this is their, uh, this is an entry that they did back in 2016 for Garden of Shadows. So Garden of Shadows has like themes and contests that they do. And back in 2016, they had a Halloween contest and this was their entry into the, co uh, the contest. It's like a university with that's full of zombies. So what I did was I, t I teleported all the zombies into one of the um, dorms and I cured all of them because <laughs> I don't like zombies. Anyway, it comes with 18 pre-made students that are a lot of fun and story progression actually graduated all of them and I moved them into four, I moved all 16 of them into four houses. So basically they all, the story progression fixed up all the couple, like they put the couples together without me having to do anything. So they all paired off with one another. And so I've got like four townhouses, two sets of couples in each one. And since then I've had like an entire um, group of university students go through university and I haven't had to do any university rounds at all because story progression takes care of my university students now. It will choose their majors for them depending on what their zodiac sign is because apparently that's that's how they choose majors in it's like coded into the thing so basically if a townie goes in to a university there's a certain setup that they use to decide which major they choose based on their personality and the um oh no it's the aspirations the aspiration and their personality so it's both of those things anyway plum tails was able to to crack the code and she came out with them um, if you go to her Tumblr, she has like a little thing that she posted on what the what it is, on on the, on the uh, the actual formula is anyway. Uh, so they also did their version of Sedona. So the um, actually this Sedona, yeah, no, this is the original Sedona. It only has four characters in it. Oh, hello, what happened? I accidentally clicked on it. <laughs> Uh, and oh, and this Shady Shores, apparently this is one of their unfinished hoods. And I think, I think Jawusa is going to finish this hood. So this is an unfinished hood that will be released soon, I guess. So anyway, it should be, when she finishes this, it'll be 13 that they have all together. So I took five of those hoods and turned them into an Uber hood, plus the Quaddington University. And then I cured all the zombies. So that's basically my Uber hood. It's all by hood, the hood building group to answer your question. <laughs> I've never actually played uh, the story, any of the story hoods or pet story hoods or life story hoods or medieval Sims or Castaway. I've never played any of those games. You can actually download them. Uh, OSAB over on GitHub has actually made it so you can play any of them. So if you want to download any of the Sim stories, you, you can do that. Uh, just type in OSAB and then GitHub, and it should it should send you to the right address. What do you th where do you think you're going? Mm -mm, you got to clean up these dishes. Come on now. I think I'm going to retire him tomorrow, you guys, and just have him be a rich person. <laughs> I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> Sweetie, you're gonna have to go to bed. You're gonna have to go to bed soon. It's a school night. <laughs> you go to bed. Oh, she's not even tired. Okay, so we're gonna give her uh, one milligram of melatonin. There she goes. 
Okay, now she's sleepy. <laughs> you see, see how great that is? <laughs> that melatonin really works well. Okay, you go to bed. There you go. So dad's putting away the dishes. Mom's going to bed. Nancy's going to bed. And then tomorrow she's going to get up. Get ready. What about her brother? Her brother's fine. Her brother's like green across the board. He just has to get up basically and have a bowl of cereal. So tomorrow mom is going to work on the toddler skills. We're going to teach Vinny how to study. I think we're going to retire dad. All right. All right, so I'm going to take my second ad break, you guys, because it's it's been an hour since I took my last one. So uh, don't watch these ads. I want you to get up and stretch your legs just like what I'm doing, and I will be back in three to four minutes. I am back. Hi, puppy. Aww. Yeah, it's a good boy. He's a good boy. Yeah. Okay, it looks like we have 14 seconds. Look at that. I'm not late this time. All right, my phone is charged. I can unplug it. All right, everybody should be back from their uh, their ad break. Now you have me thinking, do I want to add in more hoods? <laughs> there are so many good hoods. So the last Uber hood I had was by Ayanda Needles. It was all the different hoods that she's created over the past uh, two, three years. She just released a new hood. So now I'm like, I want to go back to my my old Ayanda Needles Uber hood. Here, I'm going to go back here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be naughty and go back here. All right, so let's go back to, I was looking at Midge the tree. Okay, that's Midge the tree. Let's go back here, and we're going to look at all the Aeon and Needles. Now, her new hood hasn't been added into this database yet. 
But let's just go back to the Aeon and Needles. Um, let's just go ahead and do that again. Alex Art, a nonsensical sim. Here we go, Aeon and Needles. So, Cactus Canyon University was my university, obviously in that in that hood, Uber hood. Copperhead City was my downtown. It's it's kind of it's set up like a downtown. You could download it as a main hood or sub hood if you want, but I use the downtown version. She did Oak Hill, which is like oh oh, it's a neighborhood full of werewolves. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> So that was one of my shopping districts. Rhodesburg is another shopping district. This is based on a German town that her boyfriend grew up in. Uh, let's see. What else did she do? Oh, Sedona. So she didn't do the original Sedona. The original one was done by the Hood Building Group. I just showed you that one. So the original Sedona takes place in a little town next to um, Strange Town. It's supposed to be right next to Strange Town or in the greater Strange Town area. And the original one only has four people in it. Like it has four households with one man in each household and they all have a secret. And you're supposed to like uncover the secret. Well, Aeon and Needles liked that, but she added actual families to it. So this is her version of Sedona, if that makes sense. Um. So anyway, that's her version. That was not in my, um, there's a, there's actually four different versions of Sedona. It's kind of complicated. Sedona Deluxe is, uh, she actually worked with the Hood Building Group to create this one. So this is like a cross between her Sedona and the original Sedona by the Hood Building Group. So it's called Sedona Deluxe. So this was like a, a joint effort between those two groups. That was also not in my Uber Hood. I had the other version of Sedona. <laughs> The Uberhood version. So I downloaded the Uberhood version of Sedona. So so you actually have to go to her website. I think you have to click here. Oh, right here. Right here it says Uberhood version. That's the version I downloaded. So the, the Uberhood version includes Copperhead City as the downtown. And it includes um, Cactus Canyon University. So this is already in Uberhood. So what I did was I started with this one. And I added her other hoods. I added Oak Hill, her werewolf hood, and Rhodesburg. So yeah, this is this is the, this is her version of Sedona, which I really, really, really enjoyed. So that was the main hood. And then if you go to hold on, her neighborhoods. That's her. Okay, we want to go to downloads. These are the these are the hoods she plays. You want to go to her downloads. Hello. Here we go. <gasps> this is her new one. It's called Cigarro Desert. A small... Wait a second. I got to read this. She just released this like a couple days ago. The Cigar Desert is known to be one of the most isolated places in Sim Nation. Its only claim to fame is being the final resting place of three of the most notorious outlaws of the Old West. And the little specks of civilization that you can find there have certainly kept true to their outlaw roots. The Sagarians might tolerate the tourists that descend upon their des desert every summer, but if you try to settle down there, you'll soon realize that it is an unforgivable environment. Being an outsider earns you the distrust of everyone. Ooh, it's exciting. With an influx of newcomers, some of them running from their past and some of them seeking answers to long-buried secrets, trouble is brewing in the small community. <clears throat> Excuse me, because there are people in this community desperate to keep these secrets from ever seeing the light of day again. Ooh, very juicy. Welcome to the Cigar Desert, a custom neighborhood. Okay, so, yeah. So, I still have my Uber hood, so I could either add this to that hood as a, as a, as a, um, a shopping district, or I could just start from scratch. Housekeeping, lots for download. You can actually download some of the lots in town separately. You don't have to download the whole Uberhood. So if you wanted to make a an, an, an Aeonda Needles Uberhood like I did, I would start with the Uberhood version of Sedona, which includes Cactus Canyon University and Copperhead City. And then I would just add um, Oak Hill and Roseburg and Cigar Desert. 
as shopping districts. There's Cactus Canyon, but you don't have to do Copperhead City or Cactus Canyon University because it's part of that Uberhood. And then you can do, where's her other stuff? I think you just have to type in Rhodesburg. Just go ahead and type in Rhodesburg here. Go straight there. Nope. Maybe I spelled it wrong. Oh, I probably spelled, spelled it incorrectly. Okay, I'm going to have to go back. <laughs> Nothing's showing up in her search box. I think Rhodesburg was released two summers ago. That's the Uber hood. Well, it's in here anyway. Those those hoods are in here anyway. You probably get a better I a better chance of just googling it. Like if I was to go to Google and just type in um Aonda Needles Rhodesburg. Yeah, see it takes you right to the fucking page. I it, God forbid I should type something in Tumblr and get reach it within Tumblr. The search function just really sucks. So anyway, there's Rhodesburg. And then again, if I went back to Google and typed in Aonda Needles Oak Hill, that's the werewolf neighborhood. That was actually kind of fun. <laughs> okay, again, we've got this. So yeah, you could add in plus Cigar Desert to your newest one. So I might have just I might just create a new Uber hood full of Aonda Needles stuff because her hoods are a lot of fun. She has a really excellent job with the families and the houses. And I would probably just turn on story progression at that point and just play a couple of the families. Just let story progression and ACR kind of fill in the dots and cross the T's and dot the I's and all that other stuff. Anyway, you definitely want to bookmark that one uh, wiki stub that I tell you about. So give you ideas to add new hoods and create new Uber hoods. And it's a lot of fun. I have way so much fun playing with Uber hoods and story progression and ACR. It's just like it totally changes the game. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, you're in trouble now, mister. <laughs> Is he ready? He's ready! He's ready! Ah! Oh! oh, he took my Lexus! He took my Lexus! <laughs> That's pretty ballsy. <laughs> and why are you going downstairs? Why do Okay, I don't know why the cop went into the bathroom, but... <laughs> what is happening? Oh my god, you stole my dragon... My, my little dragon righty toy. <laughs> what is happening in my game? I don't know why he went downstairs after taking my Lexus. <laughs> oh, he's gone! Oh, good, good job, cop. <laughs> oh my god. Really? Really? Where's your car? Like, I don't even know where the cop car is. Are you just gonna toddle off and okay that's fine <laughs> Whatever. that was a bit of a shit show anyway uh okay so we need to replace the lexus and the spring rider <laughs> oh god where's the where's the little dragon this is just basically the spring rider but as as a dragon there we go oh my god you guys do you have some mod that makes this a police pyramid? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I need to take it out. <laughs> I need to take it out. I have a mod that keeps firefighters and police from not showing up right away. Because <laughs> in the vanilla version of the game, they, they show up a little too quickly. But uh, this, this police officer didn't show up in a car, though. That's the weird thing. There was no car. Like, he, he just... 
I don't even know why he... Why did he go downstairs into the kids' bathroom? I don't know. But he went right down here. And he just stood there while he took my Lexus. And then when the burglar came down here to take the uh, the dragon rider, he just he just he didn't run over there to apprehend him. He just he just walked slowly. <laughs> so I don't know. I think I'm gonna take that mod out. <laughs> Where they turn into the arsonist and kids. Ooh, really? Hold on. Yeah, you told me about that, but I want to actually go to the website to see. Did you put it in my Discord, sweetie? You did, didn't you? Um, hold on. Burglar. Is this it? Is it? Oh, is this it? I this is it, isn't it? Yeah, this is it. More dangerous burglars and enhanced car alarms. Is this? Is this the one? No, no, this isn't the one. Oh, it is. Enhanced alarms, more dangerous burglars. Okay, this was actually updated in November of last year. So it was just updated on November 26, 2023. Okay. Oh, this is a Limey Yoshi mod. Okay, for those of you who don't know, Limey Yoshi is a new um, modder who is absolutely brilliant. Um, you definitely want to check them out on MTS. Ooh. Breaking car. Ooh. They can actually break your car alarm. Oh, this is this is really nice. Wow, I'm gonna have to read all this after after the stream. You can also tune it, you guys. It sh he shows you how to tune it. All right, now what what does this not work with? I want to see what it doesn't work with, so I I know what I have to delete. Conflicts and notes are compatible. The Community Time Project. Pick and mix no driving without a license. Stick hurts vehicle and taxi messages. Midge, midge the trees custom burglar alarms. Oh, these, these are actually compatible. These ones are not compatible. Okay, midge the trees custom burglar alarms is not compatible. Visit other sims. Similar 90s burglar mod can't be used with this mod. Okay, that's fine. That's that's fair. Dizzy 2's daily weekly arsonist mod conflicts too, but doesn't work on current game configurations any anymore anyway. Okay, I'm going to read this later. I'm going to keep this tab open. I'm also going to keep Aonda Needle's tab open to remind me that she has a new hood. That I, may, I might play it like as a standalone off stream just to check it out. But I'd like to keep I'd like to keep creators' hoods together in one giant Uber hood, which is why I created it an Aeon and Needles Uber hood in the first place, because she does such a great job with her hoods. Same thing with Katati and a few other people. Anyway, I'm gonna keep that open. Alright, and I'm gonna read this article later. So you're saying that they will actually start fires with this hood? With this particular mod, I mean. I'm just going to type in. This mod is inspired by Dizzy 2's Arsonist mod, which was sadly discontinued after university and uh, completely broken with the Pets EP. And similar 90s Burglar mod, which sadly crashes my game for unknown reasons. Well, a lot of the similar 90s mods don't play well with others. Um, I'm not saying you shouldn't use his mods. I actually do use some of his mods, but just be aware that he doesn't do a lot of conflict testing and he doesn't tell you what his mods can conflict with, which is it, it, kind of weird. But he actually still makes mods. He just kind of goes about it in a very sloppy kind of way, so it, they may or may not work well with the mods you already have. 
anyway, it looks like this is a cross between Dizzy's Arsonist mod and similar 90s Burglar mod. So this is really, I'm, I am, to, I'm so looking forward to this. I'm not going to download anything because it looks like I'm going to have to read up on it first before I decide which, which one. It looks like, oh, 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 did you see this? It says Arsonist mod, Arsonist mod Mafia version. Mafia version. <laughs> Do you see this? <laughs> oh my god. So I don't need to download this one because I don't have Chris Hatch's um, Visit Other Sims mod. So I don't have to download this one. This one's optional. Uh, it says 100% chance to lay fires. So no items will be stolen. Uh, no items will be stolen. Only fires will happen. Changes the dialogue as well. So it kind of turns the burglars into arsonists. They don't steal. They just start fires. Ooh, I kind of like this one. This one's kind of sexy. I like that. Okay, this one's a Burglars and Alarms. This is the default version of the mod. This is Burglar and Alarms, no fires. This is the mellow version. No fires will be laid. The rest stays the same. And this is just completely turns it into an arsonist mod without anybody stealing anything. They just they, they just set fires. That's it. They're just they're basically just arsonists. They're no longer burglars. So it looks like this one, there's a possibility that a fire will start with the, the default one. So I'm going to download that. So I'm definitely getting that one. Pick only one flavor. Got it. And it was just updated last November. So, oh, that is, that's going to be lots of fun. Also, I'm going to have to get rid of the mod where the, um, the, the police don't show up right away. Because that was bullshit. <laughs> Anyway, back to the game. <laughs> I've been fucking around enough. <laughs> All right. What time is it? All oh, right. So he took our Lexus. Did we get an insurance payout? I don't know if we did. I don't remember seeing a little dialogue saying that we got an insurance payout. Huh, that was a lot of fun. It's actually 1.30 in the morning. I guess she's going to check on... Okay, this little boy has to be put back to... Oh, here we go. Uh-oh. I have... Oh, I, have, I haven't I have been paying my bills. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> All right, let's pay our bills. Oh, yes, we have red bills here. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> oh, Vincent's taking a shower. I need you to pay some bills. <laughs> That's too funny. The guy is like the richest person in my Uberhood. He hasn't been paying his bills. That's so typical. <laughs> All right, is that it? Okay, good. That's done. Okay, so he's hungry, so he might as well just stay up and eat at this point because the burglar woke everybody up. <sighs> Have some healthy food. Um, is there any leftovers? I don't. Oh, there is. Okay. All right, little boy, are you hungry? Actually, he's well rested, and he's up. So we might as well keep him up at this point. Um, because I can't get him back to bed anyway at this point. Unless he has chamomile tea. I could if we do chamomile tea. So maybe we could do that. Go serve some chamomile and have some. That's the only way you can you can actually get everybody to go back to sleep. Dad's hungry though. So I'm mean, just he dad's gonna pull an all, all nighter. He's gonna have leftovers. And then he's going to drink coffee. He's not going to go back to bed. All right, little boy, I need you to grab some chamomile and have a cup. A uh, little girl can go back to bed. She's actually tired enough that she can do that. You go back to bed. All right, I need you to actually put this kid back in the crib. Because I don't think she's... Yeah, she's not even close to being... Oh, I don't even know why you took the kids out of the out, out of their cribs. They're not... They're not rested. They'll put everybody back to bed. Dog's just chilling out there. All right, one of the dogs just got back from work. All right, little boy. And then I'm going to have her go up and have some leftovers as well. 
All right, little boy should be getting tired from the chamomile, see? You see how tired he is now just from a couple sips from the chamomile? <laughs> oh my gosh. You, go back to bed. All right, every, everything's back to normal. We're just going to put that whole bur bur burglary behind us. <laughs> All right, you, Vincent. Uh, you just ate something and yet you're still hungry. So I don't know what's going on with you. You have a bottomless pit for a stomach. So have some more leftovers, please. All right, you go, you go to bed. Yeah, he's going to bed. He might as well have, like, something else to eat. Oh, he's already getting one. They can talk about the fact that their Lexus was just stolen. Honey, we should really do something about the security around here. This neighborhood's not what it used to be. Oh, yeah, they're talking about... <laughs> Burglary. <laughs> Real. <laughs> yeah. Mm. That's that's actually kind of funny that they're actually talking about the burglary. You know, they're talking about croissants. <laughs> that, that, that was a huge subject change there. Let's not talk about that anymore. Let's talk about food. <laughs> All right, you go back to bed. Everybody go back to bed. Little boy, should, everybody should be back in bed. Except, uh, no, I told you to go to, back to bed. See, now at this point, when you wake up tomorrow morning, you're just going to be so exhausted. And this dog needs a bath. All right, let's just put this on high speed. He's going to have to have hot chocolate to wake him up now. That, that um, chamomile works a little too well. And I know that it's tunable. I'm pretty sure you can go into the file and simply and tune it. So, okay. This dog really likes to howl. Okay, I'm going to let him sleep in a little bit. But then he's going to have to get up and have some hot chocolate to wake up a little bit. And Nancy should be fine. Nancy's good to go. Nancy can actually get her own food. So I'm going to have her get a gelatin. She's going to have some gelatin for dessert. No, fuck it. I'm going to have her get cereal. All right, he's waking up with some hot cocoa. Look at that. Easy peasy. Now, why don't you go over here and use your parents' bathroom? Okay, today I think I'm going to have him go to work as usual, but he's going to need coffee. When does he go to work? 10 a.m. Have some coffee. Wake up. She is a stay at home mom. You, get up. Oh, Alan is on. Okay, so the kids are actually up and awake. So they got out of their cribs on their own. Most toddlers do. I've only had like two toddlers in this entire hood that refuse to get out of the crib on their own. Which is kind of weird. But it does happen. Alright, you. You need to actually be potty trained. So we're going to have that. Who, which one of you has to go the most? Alright, you have to go the most. So you come down here, potty train both of them. Actually, you don't need to, you don't need a shower right now. You just have to pee. All right, you get over here. So you're all ready to be set. No, you're not gonna get back on the dragon. No, stop it. <laughs> oh my God! Look at him go. All right, little girl, come over here. You're, you're next. All right, so these two are going to be off to school soon. Nope, actually it's only 7.20. All right, um, 
Vinny. Vinny is okay. Vinny, you have to pee. Come on now. I'm pretty sure I clicked on the to uh, toilet. Told you to pee. All right, Vincent is more awake, but he still actually needs some more coffee. So he's not, he's also kind of hungry. Have some more coffee. All right, little girl, need you to come over here. Um, why don't you try to play the piano? Practice on that. You come over here. Alright, so little boy needs to work on what now? He need, he, okay, he's got two mechanical. Two logic. Okay, so we need to work on charisma now. Want two of everything. You, you're up. Alright, you are super stinky, Hudson. You be nice to your mother. Pippa's going to age up soon. Okay, I'm going to assume that the kids are going to... I think this is Vincent's first day at school. Alright, off you go. Off you go. They're not in private school. They just... Every, all kids wear uniforms in my game. So he's got, like, lots of mugs. My maid's going to have his... Okay, he has no cleaning skill at all. That's pathetic. And only two cooking skill points. That's just sad. All right, you. You need to pee before you go to work. I mean, you, you, you're not going to get any promotion, so it's a kind of a moot point. But I want you to be in a fairly good mood. And you can eat at work when you get there. Okay. Yes, he's stinky, but whose fault is that? You're kind of in charge of the dogs, aren't you? Oh, Dave! Is Dave dead? I think Dave is dead. <gasps> Did Dave die? Oh god, I, I've been ignoring the rabbit. First of all, we need to move this fucking tree. I have new default replacements for all of the trees, and some of them are clipping into the houses now. Because <laughs> they're bigger than the vanilla trees. Um, I think we might have a dead rabbit on our hands. Fill Dave's dish. No, I think Dave is still alive. Clean Dave's cage. Play with Dave. Okay. Where is Dave? Is Dave in there? I don't see him in there. Oh, no, he's in there. I see him. He's in the back. He's floating. Okay. Oh, God, that was that was a close one. <laughs> All right, what's going on downstairs? Oh, I keep forgetting they have stuff in their garage. <laughs> God, they have a car to work on. Okay, so when Vinny is old enough to work on the car, because he is a tinkerer, and so is Alan, apparently. I think he's a tinkerer. So they can work on cars when they're, like, teenagers. She's science. She's sci Okay, so the two daughters are science and the two boys are tinkering. I did, I did not do that. That was all story progression. Don't, don't come after me. <laughs> it's just a coincidence. They don't all have the same zodiac sign. All right, so who's next? Who has not been taken to the potty? She's good. Okay, now we need to do bottles. Get a bottle for Kitty. Get a bottle for Alan. They're not super duper hungry, but we might as well take care of it now. All right, where's the maid? We desperately need the maid here, like, right now. We've got bottles everywhere. Dirty potties. Dirty... Di no, don't you even dare go over there. This is why you have to do macro procrastinate for the toddlers, right there. Did you see that? He almost, <laughs> he almost got on there, little fucker. All right, after you do that, what are you going to work on? You are going to work on, well, you, you're actually behind, so we need to get you on charisma, pretty much everything. All right, you, get over here. Here's your bottle. 
It's hard to control the camera when you're in a basement, so you forgive me here. All right, so we're going to actually work on his creativity. We're going to put him on the xylophone until he... Oh. No, no, you don't have to do that, sweetie. You can actually go upstairs and take care of yourself now. All right, so we've got hygiene. She's a little hungry. She's a little tired. Why don't you jump in the shower? Have something to eat. Have some uh, porridge. Are you going to work, sweet uh, Vincent? Yes, you are. All right, so he was able to help. He was able to feed the like feed the rabbit. There's the there's Dave. Dave's fine. So he filled Dave's dish, but it still needs cleaning. And I don't know if the maid will clean it or not. So let's go ahead and have her clean it. Now you see why she's got a bathing suit on because she's got the never nude trait. That's why, in case anybody's wondering. <laughs> and I have to get rid of that light. You see that light in there? I got to get rid of that. Hold on. <laughs> what the fuck is that doing in there? <laughs> um, I need to get more lights in here. I think I'm going to use those, those Ditta lights that I love so much. That's what I'm going to do. I call them the pool lights because um, they came with the community pool lot in Strangetown. And I thought they were pool lights, but they're not. They were originally made for a dining room set a long time ago. But they're perfect for bathrooms. Because they have, look at look at their profile. It's so high. So it, cl it clears uh, mirrors. It clears, uh, and there's two different heights. There's this height and this height. So it does, there is a lower, you know, lower level you can use. But they're actually quite bright. But they're perfect for, like, uh, shower bath setups and things like that. Anyway. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of... Oh, hold on. I think I got rid of the... Accidentally deleted the Ditto lights at one point, and they were replaced with these lights. That's what happened. So I'll put this back in here. Put that above there. They're also great in, in uh, stalls. They also clear up a lot of windows. They don't clear those windows, but I think you can actually put them up. Yeah, that's the highest that they will go. Oh, wait, they do clear the windows. Okay. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Okay, that's good to know because those are privacy windows. Those are pretty high up. The maid should be here any second, and that will be wonderful. Oh, yeah, she's gonna she's gonna check out Dave. Today, Dave's stuff has to be cleaned. All right, I think somebody has to play with Dave. It's been a while. Dave's getting lonely. Aw. Oh, he's chewing on a little stick because don't forget he's he's a copy of a puppy. Like they took a small dog, or not not a puppy, a small dog. They took a small dog. And created the bunny that way. That's why it's like chewing on this thing. All right, come on, Dave. Somebody wants to play with you. Come on. There we go. Aw, so cute. <laughs> it's so adorable. This is one of the best, like, oh, she's mad. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> Wait a second. What do the dogs need to be a bath? Okay, we're going to we're gonna bathe Hudson. Who else needs a bath? Hudson and Andre. That's the Hudson's father. So come over here. Wash Hudson. Wash. Actually, we're going to do that first. Andre, uh, no, Hudson, get over here. Mansu, animata. I have to keep an eye on these dogs in case they jump out of the bath. All right, where's Andre? Pippa's at work. Also, these dogs need to obedience training, so we're going to hire the obedience trainer for that. I got him. I have to make a note of who needs which thing. So we've got Pippa. We've got Andre. 
and we have Hudson. That's their son. Their only child. I'm not going to have them. They're not going to have any more puppies. And of course, uh, Pippa is the daughter of... Uh... What is the name of that dog again? <laughs> Precious! Precious and Smeagol. <laughs> Who recently passed away from old age. Most of the first gen dogs are actually d the large ones are deceased now. There's very few who are still alive. Alright, so what you're going to want to do is don't, people forget to do this. If they behave in the tub, you have to remember to praise them for behaving in the tub. And if they jump out of the tub, you have to, squ you have to scold them. A lot of people forget to do that. So we want to praise her for um, definitely behaving in the tub. Stop moving around! Now we have to do your dad. Your dad is very stinky. So let's go ahead and wash Andre. Andre, get over there. I don't think he wants a bath. Yeah, he doesn't want a bath. You, you come when you're cold. <laughs> get in that bath right now. All right, so it looks like Kitty just leveled up with something. I don't know what. Charisma. She's got two charisma now. Okay, work on your logic. We've got two of that. Gotcha. <laughs> Oh, science activity. Okay. I'm going to speed this up a tiny bit. There you go. Let's praise him. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna cue it up twice just in case they dance around each other. Sometimes animals and humans dance around each other, so they could just get the just the perfect setup. There we go. Oh, see. And then if you if they get to it, you can just drop it from the queue yourself. All right. So the dogs are pretty much taken care of. Now let's just look. Pippa's at work right now, but let's see what Pippa actually needs for promotion. Pippa needs to learn how to speak. Um, Andre works, does not work today. Andre has to learn how to stay. Hudson has to learn how to shake. And H Hudson actually works at six. So I think we should do Hudson first. Now, is Hudson in the mood for being trained? Yes, he is. He's, he's good across the board. So we're going to actually hire, we're going to go over here and hire the obedience trainer. right now so what we have to do is when the obedience trainer gets here you have to make sure the dog is in really good shape otherwise she won't train him if he's too tired or too hungry or whatever hudson's in good shape so what i'm going to do is i'm going to have hudson just go outside because she comes pretty fast <laughs> did you see him run past her? it was so cute obedience trainer Yes. All right, who's coming over? Uh, Betty Butterworth. So that's one of the Plum Tales NPCs that I downloaded. I can tell by the name. She gave all of their, her uh, NPCs silly names to make them memorable. All right, so actually, uh, where's the maid? She's here. She hasn't done the dishes yet. I don't know where she is. She's doing something, but apparently not this. <laughs> the other thing you have to do is make sure that the the, the uh, adult who's in charge um, isn't doing anything either. So you just have to set everything up. I need you to come down here and just wait. Just wait. You can actually bring this in. Go ahead and bring the newspaper in. There she is. No, you're, you're going to stay outside, sweetie. 
You're not going to come. You're going to have her take care of you outside. I think she comes in a van. Yeah, she should be coming in a van any second. Actually, why don't you just come down here and pet the dog? While we wait for Mrs. Uh, Butterworth. There she is. Oh, no, 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 no. You come out. You come over here. Come down here. Greetings, my dear. Won't you direct me to the darling pet who needs my attention? Yes. All right, so we're going to click on her. I think you have to click on her. Purchase training for Hudson. And we're going to do shake. All right. All right, you, are you going to get trained later, but are you in any shape to be trained? Uh, actually, you need to pee. But aside from that, you're actually good to go for that. So I just want to make sure she actually starts training the dog, because sometimes she'll go over to the TV and start watching TV. You should... Okay, what are you doing? Why is she doing that? No, I told you to train the dog. Okay, hold on. Hudson. Okay, actually, she should start training soon. Object error. Okay, that's not good. I think she just she just uh, threw an object error for some reason. Let's try this again, Hudson. Well, actually, the shake a paw is still not not in there, so she should still do it for him. Won't you direct me to the darling pet who needs my attention? Okay, so I don't know why she's throwing errors, but... Yeah, for some reason, does he... Did, okay, you know what I think it is? I think that he's already been trained. There's something, like, interfering with the obedience trainer. Let's just check to see if he already knows uh, shake a pop. Nope, he doesn't. He still has to learn it. But it's not appearing in her menu. So I already I already purchased the training. And for whatever reason, she's just fucking around. I don't know what it is. Uh, so, But Andre needs training too. Andre, uh, Andre has to learn how to, to stay. So purchase training for Andre. Okay, see, relax. Oh, this is the teapot. This has nothing to do with the dogs. The teapot's now thrown. Okay, yeah. she's going over to Andre, so that's good. Oh, is she teaching? Oh, she's teaching him how to stay. Okay, hopefully afterwards she will teach Hudson how to shake. Tasha Go is getting engaged to Alvin Feuda. Okay. Okay, so apparently this this dog, there was an error thrown, and this dog is sort of in in limbo we're not sure if he's going to get actually trained or not so we're just going to put this dog over here all right she actually has to go downstairs uh she's actually kind of hungry let's get her some food And then we're going to work on the toddlers. All right, that was the last leftover. Meadow Thayer is getting engaged to Lucas Foss. Orlando Santaski is getting engaged to Ivy Cooper. Sophie Miguel is getting engaged to Marissa Creelman. Okay. Um, Kitty just got... Lo oh, she's tired. All right, go to bed. Just go to sleep over there. And it looks like Alan is also tired. Yeah, he's tired. So go ahead and sleep on the mats. See, now the lighting on these two objects are working again. I don't I don't know what was going on with that. All right, they're going to go to sleep. Vinny's grades are improving. Well, that was his first day at school, so. 
Those doors. Nancy has no homework today. Alright, so basically Nancy can do whatever the fuck she wants. So what we're going to do... We're going to get her changed out of her clothes. Alright, so that's done. Uh, she is kind of hungry. What else could we do with her? She's a science sim. But I feel like she should just have fun today. I think... Did, oh, did I give them extra space? And I didn't. I was going to give them extra space over here for a playground, and I forgot. Let's go ahead and quit the game and do that right now. We're going to open up Lot Adjuster. And give them a little extra space. Because they're like w one of the richest families in the Uberhood. The only other person who sort of is vying for that title is Diana DeBoer. I think she's fr she probably has the same amount as he does. Okay, so we're going to go into here. No, nope, we're not going to go into there. We're going to go into this one. Lot adjuster. All right. Fitville. More. All right, let's get this up and running again. Oh, three hours soon. Thank you. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Let's do it now while this thing is loading back up because it takes about three minutes. So we're going to do that. I'm going to do another break. I just have to warm up my tea and stre stretch a little bit. So I should be all right back. Okay, I'm back early. It's almost loaded up. It's being nice and fast today. Do -do -do -do. 
Oh, here we go. I don't think the hotkeys are working. Let me just refresh the page on my second monitor here. Oh, there we go. Now it's working. Okay, everybody should be back from their ad break. So let's go to Bitbill. Create a little playground. Okay, there we go. You see how the lot imposter has disappeared? Don't panic. It's all going to be fine. Let's move some of these trees, though. I am going to move some of these trees away from the lot a little bit. They're, so, they're just a little too close to the lot. That one's especially too close to the lot. But that one over there, so that should be fine. So now it goes all the way to the edge. So basically, I, I added two, uh, 10 spaces over this way for their double car garage, and now I've added 10 extra spaces this way for... A little playground let's go ahead and so once you go into the lot uh, a new lot imposter will be created don't forget there's coupons today's coupon day can you put the coupon up on uh, numerities for me I like to grab your free gift pack of the stream loots uh, Okay, oh, I also made them craftable now. All of the Stream Loots cards are now craftable, I think. I want you guys to go in there and try and craft something. Let me know what's working. But I'm pretty sure you can craft anything, including legendary cards. So. Speaking of which, hold on. Let me just go ahead and do that. I think uh, Numerities is AFK. So, click on this link. You should be able to get one free Stream Loots card. I can craft green and blue ones. Yes, Bobo. I probably don't have enough to craft others, but it should work. Okay, good. Thank you for letting me know. I just wanted to know if I did it right. All right, so little girl doesn't have homework. So, what were we going to do with her again? Oh, right. We we're going to make a... Um, yeah. So, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Whoopsie! I forgot to go into Lot Adjuster and tell it to add and remove roads. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're just going to add one here under Decor Miscellaneous. I knew there was something I forgot. <laughs> oh gosh. Is it this one? I don't think it's that one. It's this one. This is the one I want. There we go. Okay. Um, I can fix that in Lot Adjuster later, so it's permanent. But I can also use one of these pieces too. It's kind of kind of moot. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're just going to give them a very quick uh, outdoor playground. I'm not going to bother putting up a fence or anything because normally a rich family would have a tall. Oh, okay. Is this is this level? I don't think that's level. Hold on. Hold the phone. Oh, I see. It's not level at the back. That's fine. And plus, we have some holes over here that need to be filled. Okay. Let's go back to here. I really, I really like the purple one. So we're just going to put some... I should, I should have hit, hit uh, the shift key so I could do multiple ones. I'm going to do three swings. Usually I don't have enough room for swings. We're going to do some slides. And one of these things. What else can we put up here? Oh, monkey bars. They're going to get the full Monty, these guys. Oh. 
All right, that's good enough. I don't want to spend too much time on that. Oh, I wanted this to be purple. Why is it not purple? Hold on. And why did I toggle daylight? I don't know. Oh, we forgot to get a new uh, Lexus for these guys. Let's go ahead and do that now. Or we can get them a different car. It doesn't have to be Lexus. Let's get them an Audi A4. It only comes in one color, but... Okay, and I think that we're going to get her a different car. This... I don't like that. I don't like that one. I'm going to get rid of the... Uh... That's the Lexus that was stolen. Let's get them something different, though. I think she... I feel like she... Because she's a stay-at-home mom, she should have, like a like, a family soccer mom kind of car so we're gonna get her the 2008 land rover range rover sport so she can dump the kids in there <laughs> that's what she's gonna drive so he's going to get the this one she's gonna no, not her the mom the mom gets this one naomi vincent's gonna get this one so the carpool is not gonna come for him anymore The Audi, that's it, the Audi 4000. Um, Nancy, come here and play on the playground. Teleport. Play on playground. You, you have homework, but technically speaking, you're going to have fun today. Oh, what happened? What happened? Why did the dog disappear? Why did the dog disappear? Andre was in the middle of being trained. He still has to learn how to stay. Oh, there he is. He just reappeared. Okay, that was a little weird. Oh, oh gee. Better, than, better you than me, sweetie. That's all I'm going to say. But he's learning. Slowly. Okay, she's just going to... Okay, she is losing it. Okay, you go outside with your sister. Can you actually get down from the backyard, or do you have to go through the front door? Yeah, I don't think there's any way to get it, get to this area from here. And I want to keep it that way, because I want to keep this pri this area private. I don't want people just going into their backyard without permission. All right, where did um, Vinny Jr. go? Oh, there he is. All right, where is she going? Yes, yes, there is something you can do for me. Let's try this again. I think that the other dog got hung up for whatever reason because of the object error. So what is it that Hudson has to do? Hudson has to shake a paw. Let's just double check. Andre is done. Andre has been taken care of. He still has to shake a paw. Okay, so let's click on her. Where did the, where did the lady go? Where'd she go? She disappeared. She just asked me if there was something else she could do. Is she watching TV? Sometimes they watch TV. <laughs> you have to keep an eye on them. <laughs> I know she's disappeared. I don't know where the lady is, but I have to click on her in order for her to, uh, to do stuff. Oh, there she is. All right, so we need to purchase training for Hudson. Shit, there it is. It's back in the menu. You see that? It's back. All right, let's see if she'll actually... No, I need you to stop chewing on the bone. This nice lady's going to show you how to shake a paw. See, this might fuck up the uh, the training. If the dog is not, like, exactly ready for her. All right, let's see if she actually trains him this time. It looks like there's... Okay. Oh, she's doing it. She's doing it. Good, good, good. You just have to wait to make sure they actually start the training process. Who the fuck are you? Did you bring this woman home from work? What is happening? Or is she just, she's just walking by? Do you know Cassidy Peterson? Riley? She knows Riley. I don't think so. I think she's just walking by. Um, you. You're actually doing really well right now. So why don't you... Oh, you see the mailbox disappeared. You see that? That's because I added extra land to the uh, property. Whenever you you do things with the lot adjuster, 
it puts the the garbage can and the mailbox at the front again it, like it resets them right so to get them to go back you have to put your cheats back on and to in order to move them back to where they were before There we go, we put that. And I always put the garbage can usually in the back porch just outside the kitchen because that's usually where people keep their garbage can, just outside the kitchen. Uh, I think I'll put it in this corner over here. Okay, so the dog's being trained. Dave actually had everything taken care of yesterday. His, he should be fine. Uh, he had his bowl refilled. He had pets. Um, everything was clean. The maid's working on that area over here. Okay, we're just going to click on, I'm going to cheat and click on the Sim Blender to fill all the pet bowls. That's taken care of. I've got too much shit going on here. All right, so the two oldest kids should be playing on the playground now. Oh, yeah, they are. They are. Good, 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 good. They're having fun. Vincent, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, they're doing their, um... Or ACR thing. Okay. What's going on downstairs? Okay, he's out like a light. He actually has to pee. Um, She has to pee too, and she's tired. So why don't you just go down? These two are probably going to uh, need a diaper change. Can you not lie down there? Can you go over here? Now can you go to sleep? Now you can go to sleep. So she couldn't go from here to here. Okay, now she's, she can't, like, use it for whatever reason. But the two of them were actually using these, even though they're overlapping. They were using them at the same time. So I don't know why she suddenly can't use it. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick her up, move her away a little bit. So for whatever reason, she's just being weird? I don't know. Glitchy? All right. Andre's off today. Andre has learned how to stay. Hudson's learning how to shake. Somebody's going off to work. There's Arcadia Bradshaw. Okay. Training is going well. Where's Pippa? Pippa has to learn how to do stuff. I'm sorry. Where's Pippa? I just clicked on her. And they took me to... Okay, Pippa's on the bed. That was a little weird. Now, Pippa has to learn how to speak, but is she up to any training? No, she is not. She's super tired. She just got back from work. She's got to pee, too. And plus, she needs a bath. So, we're not training her today. It looks like um, Vinny Jr. put his homework on this desk. This desk does not belong to anybody in particular. We are going to have to create one tile desk for all the kids. So I'm going to probably put a one tile desk here for Nancy. Squeeze one in right here. Yes, we're going to go with green. Just just for the hell of it. <laughs> I'm not in the mood to match things today. I'm being rebellious. <laughs> I like to live dangerously. Okay, that's for the little girl. Let's, what are we going to do for the little boy? Little boy's desk is going here, maybe? Okay, what are we going to do with him? We're going to do... Is there a one tile desk? I don't care if it matches with this glamour life bedding. I don't give a shit. Um, this one? I don't know. What the hell is this? What is this one? Mission. Oh, this is from the. This is from free time. Okay, I can't put this on the quarter tile. What the fuck? Oh, I can put it on the quarter tile. Okay, so I'm just going to put it this way. It's going to face this way, just outside the bathroom. Wow. 
where's the mission chairs? Not that it has to match or anything, but the mission chairs are... I'm probably looking right at them. I'm looking right at them, aren't I? Is that it? That's not the mission one. No, that's, that's something else. Alright, let's just do this. It's probably on the second page. There they are! That's the mission desks. Uh, the, or the chairs that go with all that mission furniture. I think actually, no, this is from um, Open for Business. This is Open for Business, not uh, Free Time. What the fuck am I thinking about? I don't know. All right, so I actually like that color. I like the yellow color. Kind of goes with the bedspread. All right, so now you have to go back to desks. Pick these things out. I'm going to need two. I need two LMSPs. You notice how it disappears into the floor? Sometimes that happens. I'm just going to grab this. You see, this one doesn't disappear, but when I tried to put it down here earlier, it did disappear. So I'm not sure what was going on with that. But sometimes it will disappear into the floor. Um, just find another place on the floor where it doesn't disappear. It could be a little glitchy. So with the quarter tile placement on, you could put it at the back of the desk. Or you could put it on a shelf. You could actually you put a shelf. Like you could you could actually take this mirror, put this mirror over here. Let's say you put a shelf here. Let's just get a shelf just to show just for poops and giggles. Uh you probably have to put the shelf over on a different wall and then and then Okay, that's too that's too big. You can actually use this shelf if you wanted to. It would barely fit, but you could technically use that. Um, that looks like it's too big. No, that's fine. It's a little high up, though. I don't know if it would work. That might be considered too far away from the desk. I don't know. But yeah, it doesn't have to be right on the desk. It can be, like, close by the desk. Let's see if this will work. We're, great. We're doing an experiment here. Uh, but like I said, you could use this this little single tile one that came with Apartment Life. It comes in different colors. Um, and you could use pretty much any shelf. So we're going to see if this will work. So you come down here. I need you to stop on the playground. Come down here. Claim this desk. And we're going to put this one up here. We're going to put this one at the back of the desk. You can also put it on the side. Sometimes I like to put it at the corner on a diagonal. You know, like that. That, that, that always looks good. But you could also do that. So you don't ha it doesn't have to go on the desk. And if you do put it on the desk, you could just use the quarter tile placement move object thing. Or you could, take, you could take it off the grid and put it anywhere. Like I could literally take it off the grid and put it wherever the fuck I want at that point. All right, and you... Claim this desk, and also, where did you put your homework? You put it over here. This is like the family desk. Oh! No. Alright. Here they come. All right, what's Naomi doing? Naomi's really tired. <laughs> what's Vincent doing? Oh, he's going to go downstairs and hold his daughter because she needs to go potty? Yeah, that's probably it. Probably taking her to the potty. He needs to go potty too. So I'm just going to, don't look, I'm going to cheat a tiny bit. I'm just going to do this just a little bit to give him a, a few extra minutes. All right, they're going to do their desks. Good luck. All right, so he was able, well, obviously he was able to do his. So why don't you go ahead and do your homework now? Actually, don't do your homework. Your dad has to teach you. Um, why don't you... Do that. I'm, I'm, what I'm most curious about is to see if she could do it with a shelf that high up on the wall. I've done it. I've put I've put these on shelves be before, but they were like a little lower. So I'm just this is just a little experiment. 
She should be able to do it. I don't see any problems. Oh! Oh. Does she already... Has she already claimed a desk? I guess she already claimed a desk? Oh, this used to be her desk! Okay, I thought this was like a universal desk. I must have put done this in the, in the last rotation. So now she's got this desk in here, so that's good. All right, so that's good. This is her desk now. He's got his desk. What, what can we do with her for the time being? Um... We need hampers, you guys. I just realized something. We don't have hampers in any of the bedrooms, so that's another thing we have to do. Pretty sure the hampers are here in miscellaneous plumbing. I'm going to give... Hold on. Does this come in different colors? Okay, we'll put one over here in the boys' room. Gotta put this one's pretty. It's kind of like it's well, it's not. Is there another one I like this one? Ooh. Is this one? Oh, these are university. I don't know about that. Oh, this one. These are nice. There's a wicker one. We'll put that in the girls' room. All right, so at least, at least there's hampers there for the laundry. Is there a hamper in the parents' room? I don't think there is. Yeah, I don't see a hamper anywhere. So definitely put a hamper in here. We're going to give them an extra fancy one. Probably get more private windows in here. <laughs> there's to have no privacy in here at all. Actually, we could probably put... Oh, they already have a hamper in their bathroom. Okay, there's one in the bathroom. We're, we're good for the parents. But maybe we should have one in this bathroom. Like the outside bathroom. This is like the guest bathroom for the pool. So I don't know if we could squeeze one in, though. It's kind of a tight spot. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it just outside. Just outside here. There we go. All right. I'm going to have her get her own food. She's a fairly independent young lady. She's almost a teenager, so. Vincent's taking care of his needs. Did he do his homework? No, not yet. He will. He will automatically do it at 7, which is very soon. Oh, my God. Hold on. Yeah, she's super duper. Oh, she needs. Oh, does she need her diaper changed? Did she not get to it in time? Oh, yep. She wouldn't sit on the potty. I missed all the drama. He, try, he probably tried to put her on the potty and she was like, no. You gotta have to change her diaper and just put her to bed. And then, yeah. All right, now put her to bed. We forgot to do to work on the toddler's skills. Whoops. <laughs> We're going to definitely use smart milk later. <laughs> and I don't think this kid's going to make it to the potty. I need you to wake up, sweetie. Because uh, he's actually rested. So we could actually work on his skills. He wants to see the ghost of Dudley. Wait a second. Does he actually have all his skills? I don't think he does. He's just... Yeah, he doesn't have any skills. He's just not rolling any of them right now. That's fine. Mm -hmm. All right, you need to wake up, sweetie. You've been kind of sleeping all afternoon. <laughs> she wants to have a party. Learn how to make bibimbap. 
be best friends with Julianne Charlotte. Andre gets promoted. So she wants two of her pets promoted. She wants to buy a painting costing 500. I'm pretty sure they can afford that. Let's just get something nice for their bedroom, shall we? Of course, it doesn't have to be for their bedroom. It could be for the kids' room. You can get like a kid-friendly thing. Aw, there's one about Santa skating. It's not 500, but it's cute. Get this one. A creepy carousel. <laughs> Tell her. <laughs> Three hours, uh, 30 minutes. Oh, I thought I already took a break. Hydrate. Thank you for the hydrate, sweetie. I actually need to drink some tea. Hey, I already took, didn't I already take a break? Anyway, <laughs> you guys are funny. <laughs> oh, it would help if I went back into live mode. <laughs> praise Andre. She wants to praise Andre. Aw, it's like, Mom, get up. All right, hold on. What's going on with little girl? Little girl's super hungry, and then she's going to go to bed. She's going to get her own food because her parents are just kind of slacking off at this point. Uh, her mom needs to pee. Yeah. This is what latchkey kids had to do in the 70s. They had to, like, take, feed each other and do our own laundry. Ooh. Oh! Hold on. The obedience trainer is still here? Whoops. <laughs> She's probably been watching TV this whole fucking time. <laughs> Uh, wait, he actually learned how to stay. Hudson learned how to shake. Yeah, he, she's been here all day. <laughs> well, she's leaving now. Has she been watching TV? I don't even know. Where where was she? Has she been playing with the bunny rabbit? Like, what? where has she been? Has she been drinking all her alcohol? She's not in the jacuzzi. I don't know where the hell she's been. Is she downstairs? I don't know where I don't know where she was. Oh, there she is. <laughs> okay, that's actually kind of funny. All right, I don't know what Vincent's doing, but okay, hold on. Okay, so it looks like he didn't want to. He didn't want to stay on the potty, you guys. So he's literally about to soil his pants. So we're just gonna wait for it to happen at this point. You come over here. There's... Uh, change diaper. Okay, why don't you give him, like, a bottle? Alright, what's going on? I think little girl's probably rested enough to get a bottle, I'm thinking. Yeah, we should probably get her up and give her a bottle before she finishes her. Alright, you come over here. Hold on. Oh, I did not mean to do that. <laughs> it happens. I accidentally teleport people all the time. Uh, hold kitty. Once she's up and awake, we can click on the fridge. And we still haven't finished the floors in here. I was going to change the floors and work on this, that stuff. Get bottle for kitty. Alright, so. He can actually work on some of his skills. So he still needs to learn, like, like potty training, walking, talking, all that other stuff. It's just he's not rolling wands for it. If that makes sense. Okay, so he's got two logic, two creativity. One body. So we need to work on charisma. That's the only thing that's left for him. Kitty has two charisma. Everything else is got, only has one. But she, at least she's actually rolling stuff.
All right, what's going on with uh, Naomi? No. So I actually need you to work on make smart milk for Alan. Alan, you're going to work on that later. Mom's going to teach you how to walk. We're going to teach you how to walk and talk. I try not to use smart milk because it, it's just so cheaty. But when I'm in a hurry, yeah, like now. <laughs> I'm just going to do, I'm just going to do something. Don't look. There we go. I elevated her aspirations so she's less likely to actually um, make bad milk. Of course, if she does make, if somebody makes bad smart milk, all you have to do is keep the toddler from drinking it and have them make another smart milk. You know what I mean? Um, where do you think you're going? Okay, I'm going to need you to clean up around here. It's kind of getting... Okay, clean that up, clean that up, clean that up. I can't wait to see what her face is going to look like when she grows up. Look at her face. That's so unique. I love it. All right, so you just have to make sure it doesn't have a red tint, and it does not have a red tint. So it's she's good to go. All right, you are going to teach him at least two things before that wears off. So we actually have a, a whole full day with this family. So Tuesday, we're definitely going to work on everything else. We're going to do teach Alan to walk. Teach Alan to talk. There we go. He actually, the dad needs to, oh, little boy's doing his homework. All right, so dad can teach him how to uh, do homework tomorrow. Are you going to go to bed, sweetie? You probably should. Go to bed. Where's your sister? Sister should be in bed. Oh, your sister is not in bed. That's the dog. <laughs> oh, God, that's funny. I'm going to speed this up a little bit. All right, little girl, come over here. Stop. Naomi has the night out. So one dog needs to be trained. We have one dog that just needs a little training. But but I can get one of the adults to do that. We don't have to actually hire the um, the obedience trainer. And we're going to have to work on potty training tomorrow with these two, which is pretty easy. Because they've already been taken to the potty so many times uh, without smart milk that it probably just happened naturally. I think he just learned how to walk. Did he not? Just a sec. No. Come over. You're not getting on the dragon. Come on now. This thing has a very high advertising rate, I find. Um, yeah. I think you can lower the advertising rate on an object. I think there's like a tutorial on that. But some some objects have a very high advertising rate. For instance, vending machines on community lots. Their advertising rate is so high that somebody went to all the trouble of making a mod to actually get take care of that situation. So I actually have a mod in my game that lowers the advertising rate on, on uh, vending machines. I don't know if you noticed, but in vanilla mode, People tend to congregate around the vending machines to just stare at it, thinking about what they want to purchase. And you get like a bottleneck situation, right? So that's that's what's going on with the vending machines. The Another object that has high advertising is the My Shuno game. If you put My Shuno on a community lot, everybody's going to want to play that fucking thing, which is why I don't allow them. <laughs> so. Anyway, it looks like this one is going to be good to go. I don't see any red tint on that one, so that one's fine. <laughs> a 
Okay, so you're gonna teach her how to walk. Talk. Sure, I'll save my game now. Oh my goodness gracious me, I'm almost ready for my next break. <laughs> Because actually, I remember what happened. I remember what happened. I did take a break because I restarted my app and I said I might as well take my break a little early because I'm restarting, right? So that's what happened. It's all coming back to me now. <laughs> but I do appreciate you looking out for me because I am bad about breaks. <laughs> all right. So, yeah. So he can go back to bed when they're done. So I'm just going to speed this up to expedite the process. It's actually 10.50 at night. I just have to keep an eye on the children. She's kind of tired, so she might actually not make it to being taught how to like talk. She might actually quit and refuse to be taught that. Yeah, just from pure exhaustion. But he definitely has both of them. But I'm just, I hope that she can get through the walking part tonight before she gets too, too exhausted. Okay, so he actually got both done tonight. So while he's still in that, in that uh, thing, we're going to take him to the potty. He technically doesn't really have to go that badly, but, but he still has the smart milk on there. So go ahead and potty train him. Maybe we can get all three things with him tonight. This might actually put him over the edge. I'm hoping. Ooh. Oh, did you see that? It wore off just as she did that. Yeah, he just he's so close to being potty trained. Did you see that? Oh, man, he's got like a sliver in there. All right, so we're going to put him to bed. So you pick him up. Put him to bed. And then you're going to go to bed. Actually, you're kind of hungry, but we'll feed you tomorrow. <laughs> Um, at this point, I'm going to put her to bed after she learns how to walk. I don't want to push it. She's so close. There she goes. All right, put her to bed. And then go to bed yourself. There's an OP in the service career track is therapy pet level two. Yes, take the job for sure. Yay, we got a promotion. Woohoo. Good job, buddy. So Hudson, Hudson, therapy pet level two. Andre is still level one security and his mom is still an extra. So Hudson's killing it. No, you can't go on the bed, you fucker. You have to get off the bed. Come on now. Oh my god, you see this? You see what's happening here? <laughs> get off the fucking bed. He needs to go to bed. See, now his bed his bed's all fucked up because the dog was on there. You see what's happening here? So, come up here. We're going to have to reset him again with smart, the smart bed mod. This is why I use smart beds because sometimes the whole bed thing gets fucked up because of dogs and stuff like that. All right, Hudson, what are you doing? Like, what's going on with you, buddy? Go to bed. There's a bed right here. Nobody's in it. Fucking go to sleep. What's wrong with you? You, come here. I need to reset you. Here he comes. All right, so we're going to have to clear this. Uh, go into adjust. Bed ownership. Clear. God. Bed ownership, own this bed, get into bed. There, see? Everything's fine now. <laughs> Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, it's 3 a.m. I like to keep all the lights on so I can see exactly what's going on. It's especially helpful if you have animals running around. <laughs> All 
Hold on. Who the fuck is that? Oh, it's Thomas Jones. I keep forgetting he's a werewolf. <laughs> it gets me every time. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, it's actually after five, so I'm going to slow it down a little bit. I'm going to very seriously think about... Oh, she... Oh, I thought she already knew fire safety. <gasps> I thought I ta taught her fire safety in the last... She wants to learn fire safety. You guys get up here and learn it right now, please. I thought I already did that with her last time. Okay, after this, you're going to have cereal. Um, I think Vinny should get up. Can you get up and get some cereal? I love that mod, by the way. Thank you for turning me on to that. Um, kids have fridge rights. That's what it's called. It's at NTS. That's what you want to download. Kids have fridge rights. They can get bottles for their, their brothers and sisters. Um, and they can get actual meals, which makes sense. Because there are things that kids can get on their own that are already prepackaged. Or ready to go. Now, he already knows fire safety. Hudson's going to work soon. It's Oh, he goes to work at 7 in the morning. Wow. All right, this little girl is such a, a neat... Fr He's got to work on his cleaning skills, so I'm actually going to get him to clean this up instead of his sister. Because his sister already has a cleaning skill point of 1, so he's, we got to work on his cleaning skill now. What is this? Be bit by a rabbit. Oh, he's afraid of being bit by Dave. Speaking of Dave, let's um give Dave a treat. I'm going to have the little boy play with Dave because he has a fear of, of being bit by him. So, <laughs> All right, so we're going to give Dave a snack and then we're going to play with him. We can't ignore Dave, but you're going to clean the dishes first. Got to get that cleaning skill up. Sister's learning fire safety. She's almost done. And then she's going to feed herself. What's going on with Naomi? Naomi is super hungry, guys. Oh, she's having a, she's having a bath. She kind of needs a bath, so I'm going to let her just soak in there for a while. Um, I think you need to have, like, an actual breakfast. So I'm going to have him make breakfast for himself. We still haven't guess gussied him up. I want to give the, the all the kids glasses because yeah, mom has glasses. So I'm going to make the kids well. myopic, just like mom. Because a lot of my, I like to do that if one of the parents has glasses. I like to do that with the kids only because I don't have a lot of people in my Uberhood that wear glasses. So. That's my excuse to put glasses on people. I have all these wonderful custom glasses. And I don't get a chance to use them very often. Okay, Naomi, I need you to actually be a mom. I do mom stuff. And where's Vincent? I'm pretty sure I told you to get some food. And then get ready for work. Um, do you actually work today? You do. You know what? I'm just going to have him uh, retire. We're going to retire Vincent. And we're next next rotation, they're going to own a business. They're going to buy a business and actually start running a business. So, um, work. He actually wants to flirt. He wants to flirt. He wants to be flirted with. He wants to kiss. Yeah. So starting today, he's. this is going to be his first retirement day. You're almost at, hold on, uh, at four. Okay, just letting you know. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> oh, my God. Bless your heart. Yeah, I am almost at four hours. Thank you. <laughs> I, 
I'm doing so well with this family though. Like you know, like I'm so, I'm getting into the rhythm of the fi uh, the family finally, and I still um haven't done any redecorating. This is their original setup for their room. I did this last time. I did that last time. Now I just all I want to do. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it right now. Uh, I want to do a different floor in here. Let's just do something dark. No, I don't want that. That's kind of gross. Because there's like a, it's like a cub, a cubic, the cubic movement, which I think was in the 40s. Or this, no, it was the 60s. I think the cubic movement is the 60s. I don't know. I could be wrong about that. Anyway, I want to kind of take after the cubic movement. There is actually an EA store folder where they, they gave away like cubic furniture. Let's just check it out here. Deco, art deco. Here's cubic. Let's put a cubic couch in here. All right, so that that bookcase is part of that. Uh, is there a desk that goes with this? That's the bookcase. That's actually a statue, which looks like the bookcase. Here's a lamp. We'll put the lamp right here. Um, get rid of, oh, stop, I'm trying to get this. I don't think I can grab this. Oh, there we go, Never mind. false alarm. Uh, we're gonna get rid of the phone. Is there a desk? There's gotta be a desk. Okay, here's the carpeting that goes with it. Here, what's this? That's the bookshelf. This is a wall light. I'm gonna put the wall light here above the desk. I don't think there's a desk that goes with it. A co That's a coffee table. Put that there. Oh, is this a desk? <gasps> I found the desk, you guys. Get rid of that. Put the chair here. Ooh, very nice. Uh, okay, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna make sure that this is set up. Now, I don't know if I like, stop it. I'm gonna put the PlayStation here. All right, I know this comes in different colors. Let's just see what the different colors are. Not a lot of selection here. <laughs> I don't know if you see this, but we're not getting a lot of selection. Ooh, black and gold. Very sexy. So white and then red. So yeah, not a lot of selection here, but um, I kind of like that one. Yeah. That one's nice. I like that. And I kind of like this. Let's see what other colors this comes in. There's this one. That one. I think we're going to keep it in that color. We're going to do like a beige black room. Well, it's not really beige. It's like a muted gold or wheat color, I would say. Right, we're going to do a matching chair. The cubic one reminds me of the desk done with our... Oh, yeah, it does. We're going to actually do black accent on that one. I think I would do a black accent on this one. There we go. No, I want to keep it gold. There we go. Okay, that actually has the same trim as this. So that's it's, it's good. I like that one. We're going to keep that, obviously. Now, I think this only comes in one color. Same thing with this one. Oh, no, it comes in two different colors. Okay, we'll go with that one. This one doesn't have a lot of uh, wiggle room with that. So we're just going to keep it that way. All right, so let's try and get some wallpaper that would kind of go with this vibe. Because there's no wallpaper that actually goes with this. I am going to put a lamp over. Let's go ahead and put this lamp over here. Actually, you know what? Um, there's no drop-down lamps for these. So I'm just going to do this for the time being 
So these guys have light. That is a weird light. I'm sorry, but that's weird. We're going to have to do something about the windows next time around. Not a lot of privacy. Um... That's one of the original paintings in this room. We're just going to get rid of that. <laughs> oh, I had lights up here. I don't know where these came from. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. I might put a lamp here. That is a very large lamp, but it's very nice. I like it. Isn't there like a plant I can put here? I suppose I could put this this object over here. It's like a... It doesn't really do anything, but it's... I don't know. It's decorative. I'll put that in the corner. It's kind of weird, but we'll put it in the corner. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. Let's put the bookcase over here. Ooh, I don't think it'll fit. There we go. Yeah, I can't recolor that. There's got there's got to be a way to recolor that. I'm pretty sure somebody recolored the cubis, the cubic, whatever, whatever it is. <laughs> Let's just do this. All right, so there's the bookcase. All right, there's a light here. It's very dark in here. Hold on, I need to put the lights on to see what's going on. Turn on all lights. Okay, actually, that's pretty good light source. I like that. There's light here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this over here. Okay, that's weird, the way that, that it's lit up there. That's kind of weird. I don't know how I feel about that. If I put this over here, is that going to... There still be enough light for the chess table, I think? I don't know. Can I put a light here? I don't know. We're gonna we're fig we'll figure it out eventually. Anyway, right now the light sources are pretty good in this room, but we need to decorate it. I will take my break after I finish this room. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> um. So we have a lot of black, gold, and red in the cubic movement. So let's just let's just do something. Maybe we could do like a gold shag ca carpet. No, that's jute. Ooh. Hmm. No. What do you guys think? Should we do like a cream colored carpet? I'm usually not a fan of that. What is this? Coconut shaving shag car this is a shag carpet. We'll just go with this. Now let's let's pick something for the wall. I feel like I don't know. I'm going to just very quickly um cubic movement wallpaper i want to see what the wallpaper is for the cubic oh damn okay that's different <laughs> hold on i gotta check out this wallpaper that's pretty fucked up <laughs> I think this is wallpaper for the computer. I want, like, actual wallpaper for walls. Like, what kind of wall treatment did they do back in back in the, in the 50s or whatever this movement was? Okay. That's, this is actual wallpaper from the Cubist movement? Oh, my God. This is so cool. <gasps> That's cute. That is really fucking cute. Oh, I like that wallpaper. That's so bright and cheerful. I love it. I fucking love it. I, I love this shit. It's, it's like there's lots of geometrical stuff. So I could use geometrical style wallpaper. And I think I know which ones I'm going to use. I think I know what I'm going to use. It's from Apartment Life. Yeah, it's from Apartment Life. Let's go to the Apartment Life folder.
There's a bunch of like geometric crap that came with that. <laughs> Like this shit. Like that would be that would be have cubic elements to it, right? That's not. We do that. Ooh. I just don't like the windows. The windows kind of kill it for me. But we can we can like cover them up. That's kind of cubic y. <laughs> if that's a word. I don't think that's a word. <laughs> Hey, is this kind of cubic -y? I can't tell. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not an interior decorator. <laughs> uh, let's just go ahead and use the white one because that is very similar to the wallpaper they showed in that example. But this is like a light, light. It's kind of like a pale violet color, you know? I mean, it's. I know it's supposed to be white. It, no, it says it's gray. This is gray. That's what it says. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this, the color of this from snowflake to like a gray color, like a light gray. Let's find a light gray that actually goes with the walls. That's too dark. There's got to be like a very, very light gray color in here. There is with the wood, the wood color. I want like the slightest gray, but this is kind of like a, a warm gray as opposed to a cold, a cold gray has blue in it. A warm gray has, and it almost looks like pinky undertones. It's really hard to describe. Well, that's not it. That's too dark. Let's go back to shag carpeting. I just want a warm gray color, like a taupey gray color. Hey, I could have used, I could be using the H&M collection to decorate this living room. I just realized that. Because the H&M collection has a lot of geometric patterns and shit like that. Let's look at the H&M wallpapers. Yeah, this is like, ooh. That's, that, that's kind of cubic -y. Don't you think that's cubic? Oh, thank you for the follow, Sophia. I appreciate that. I like that. That's cubic -y. I'm sorry, but we're going to go with this one. Fuck it. A lot of people don't use the the H&M uh, collection folder for decorating. I don't know why. They should. And, oh, damn. Damn. That's looking mighty sexy in here. Okay, I'm very happy with that. The only thing I'm not happy about are these fucking windows. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to try to hide them with um, blinds. for the time being, or maybe we could put like uh, curtains on them. Uh, those are not big enough. Yeah, those aren't big enough. Okay, we're just going to put these on them for the time being. These actually come in different colors, but I just want to take my break at this point, so <laughs> I'm just going to put these and just, you know, we're going to work on that maybe next time, so at least I can hide the fucking windows. Pardon, pardon my French. <laughs> God. Okay, see, this is looking really cute, cute in here. The only thing I have to do is move this, uh, this table ha like away from the wall a little bit, because it's clipping into the curtains, and hopefully that won't interfere with the seating. All right, let's go into live mode and see if this this actually pulls into the chair. See, okay, it's fine. It's looking good in here. It's very cubicy. <laughs> if that's a word. All right, so at least we did this room. Okay, so I'm going to do my fourth break. Um, guys, this will probably, I don't know. I don't know. It might, it'll probably be my last break. I should finish up these guys soon. I just have to stop fucking around. That's, that's part of my problem right there. <laughs> anyway, I'll be back in three minutes. Please do not watch these ads. I want you to get up and stretch your legs just like I'm doing. I'll be right back. <laughs>
came back early. All right, we gotta finish up this family. I gotta stop fucking around. <laughs> It's so hard for me not to fuck around. Okay, we still have 20 seconds. I'm just going to go ahead and unpause this. Some of you aren't watching ads, so you get some extra content here. <laughs> okay, now we have 10 seconds. Oh, everybody's off to school. Well, the kids are off to school. Uh, is he going to call work? Hold on. Oh, wait, we've got three, two, one. Okay, everybody should be back from their ad break. Is he calling? Is he actually calling work? No, I need you to call work and uh, retire. Call work. Cute. Pretty sure I told you to do that before. I need just as usual. My Sims don't obey me. Uh oh. I'm sorry. Can he not retire? How does he retire? This is like he's been in the same job for four rotations. Can he not retire? Real estate, pet registry, vacation. Throw party. Does he have to actually just throw the want to retire? So he can't retire then. Fuck. That's bullshit. He's been level 10 for like the last four rotations. Like he starts out at level 10. I don't, uh oh, I just lost my screen on my, um, my little notebook. It disappeared. <laughs> Something's happening to my other computer, which means I'm going to have to turn my phone on and access my chat that way. So don't chat until I get in there. Here we go. I haven't used my phone in a long time. Okay. We're up and running again. Um, all right. So he has to go to work. Oh, I got my screen back. Yay. All right. Uh, Vincent... I think his car, oh no, he has to leave. He actually can take his Audi now. Yeah, he can actually drive to work. It looks like one of the pets just took off for their job. Sorry, I tried to get you to um, to retire today. Well, at least he's actually dancing. All right, he's gonna go off to work. There he goes. And you, you're going to be at home. I feel like we should probably hire a nanny just to help her out. Oh, no, she wants to talk about her hobby. She wants Pippa to get promoted. She wants Andre to get promoted. Well, Pippa st still needs to be taught something. Andre's actually promotable at this point. But he works later. Yeah, he works 7 p.m. to 2 a.m. Pippa's at work, but Pippa has to learn how to speak. So we'll teach her how to speak tonight. Maybe she'll get promoted in the next in the next uh, rotation. Or she'll get promoted while I'm playing other families. Pets do get promoted while you're playing other families in story progression, so that's kind of good. Uh, she's going to be kind of stinky when she gets home, but let's just work on our priorities right now. She never learned how to talk. She was very close to it. So what we're going to do is... Once Naomi gets um, situated, we're going to have her pee. And then she's going to work on the kids. And then the maid's going to clean up. All right, hold on. Alan, where are you, Alan? Alan's over there. Uh, Alan has to pee. But is Alan trained? He is not trained yet. He's, a, he's going to be, though. What about the little girl? Little girl actually just, I think, yeah, she just went to the bathroom. <laughs> so we're going to make smart milk for Kitty and work on Kitty. Kitty, I need you to come over here. And Alan is going to work, oh wow, he's three body points. So I'm going to actually take that down to two. Actually, I'm going to bring it down to one because I feel like this toy should not give you more than one. You just keep an eye on it. If you put one of these in your game and you put those mods in it that allow kids to actually get on it themselves and gain fitness enthusiasm and body skill on it, just keep an eye on it because their body skill will be like to 10 <laughs> before they become children. <laughs> so anyway, he needs to work on charisma. Yeah, he needs to work on Christmas. He's got to come over here and talk to this rabbit, this rascally rabbit. And she needs to have her 
Diapers changed. She's a shower, for sure. You change her diaper. And then you can give her some smart milk. Oh, sounds like something's broken. Maids actually fix clogs or not? I'm not sure. I don't know if that's a thing. I, okay, I'm gonna need you to macro procrastinate. Thank you. Keep forgetting to use that. So, yeah. I don't think. Did she learn to walk yesterday? Yes, yeah, she did. So now she just has to learn how to talk. He is so close to being potty trained. They're, these guys are twins, by the way. They're like actually two and a half years apart. But okay, you see, this is going to have a red tint to it. This is what happens when you get a red tint. You see that? We cannot give that to her. So we're just going to do that. And she's going to make another one. Just put it down. Put it down. Okay, I need you to actually. We need to get a garbage can down here. Or just gonna get one of these. Oh, there's a, there already is one. So why does everybody go upstairs? Why does everybody go upstairs? Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna get a new one then. Fuck it. Maybe it's broken. Who knows? All right, just, just replace that, and we're going to get a dishwasher down here, too. Pretty sure I can get these recolored. There we go. All right, put that. I need you to put that in the garbage. Dispose. Dispose. Just, there we go. Then you have to change her diaper. And then we're going to try to make smart milk again. And I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to raise her aspiration a tiny bit. To increase the chances of uh, smart milk coming out okay. And this kid, this kid has to be taken to the potty soon. So what we're going to do is... Um, All right, I need you change her diaper. Oh, my God. Did you actually wet yourself? Aw. No, but you're stinky. Oh, he's stinky, but he didn't have an accident, though. He's very close to having an accident, so I need you to take him to the potty one last time, and then after that, he'll be able to take himself. No, oh, no, you don't, you little fucker. Stay away from there. Mm -mm. I'm gonna get rid of this thing. No, you got on there anyway. Oh, damn it. Come on. Grab it before he does it again. Alright, he should definitely get... Get it. Oh my god, just to, oh my god, this kid. Alright, you know what? Does he have to have his diaper changed? No. Why is he being a little dickhead? Why are you being a dickhead? No, he does not need his diaper changed. What is happening with him? His bladder's low. His hygiene sucks. Maybe he just needs a just a just needs a bath. He's just too stinky. Go ahead and give him a bath. <sighs> That's why he doesn't want to sit on the potty. Well, he's about to have an accident, so he's gonna need to get it stinky again. Aw, she's playing with the puppy. So cute. Oh my god, I love this game. Cuddle. Cuddle! 
How fucking sweet is that? This thing's dangerous. I'm taking it out. <laughs> Works a little too well. <laughs> Woo! Would help if I went back into live mode. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, see, he's going to have an accident. I'm just going to do this. Don't judge me. There we go. Speed this up a little bit. Oh, no. Mm -mm. I don't do chance cars with dogs anymore. They just get so depressed when they get uh, fired. I can't take it. The guilt I feel. I just... <laughs> it's untenable. Okay, my notebook just crashed. So. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Okay, you take him to the potty. Hopefully, he'll actually sit down this time. Alan, go ahead. Off you go. There's no reason for him not to sit on the potty now. There we go. He's got it. Shane O'Brien is getting engaged to Aja Young. Okay, he's got it. He's fine. All right, now we're going to work on little girl. Little girl needs uh, smart milk. So let's try and make smart milk for her again. Got to keep an eye on that smart milk. Mom's a little hungry, but she's fine. Kids are still at school. Dad's still at work. Little girl has to step away from the, uh, the table. Um, I'm sorry, or what are you doing? No, I told you to make smart milk. What the fuck are you doing? Just let the maid keep th clean that up. Come on now. No, stop doing stop. I keep, t I keep forgetting to procrastinate them. No, you can't drink that milk anyway, even if you wanted to. There, see, that's normal milk. So we're going to finish uh, teaching her how to walk, talk, hopefully get some potty training in too. All right, you. She just said she already knows that. Okay, so we're going to do talking. There we go. See, the maid's cleaned it up for you. All right, so little boy actually has everything, I believe. I believe. Let me just check his memory. I mean, he doesn't have nursery nursery rhyme, but that's not important. He doesn't get a memory of that anyway, which is kind of weird. I don't know why they didn't add that as a memory. So he does have to still work on charisma. He's got no charisma. So he needs two charisma points. So you're going to do that for the rest of the day. Actually, you know what? You might as well take her to the potty while she's got that potty train kitty. There we go. I don't think she'll finish potty training, but at least she'll get... It'll go up a lot faster while she's on the smart milk. I know she's tired, so she might actually have a temper tantrum. Yeah, she's fine. Oh, maybe she'll get it. I don't know. Oh, she got it. Okay. Okay. Right on. All right, the kids are taken care of, except she still has to learn how to talk, but that'll be in a couple minutes. And then she'll be good to go. I could have sworn I worked on her in the last stream, but apparently I didn't. I totally ignored her when she was, because she was a toddler last time. Tasha Fuda is getting married to Alvin Fuda. Well, she's already got married because... Okay. Okay, no, you know what? Oh, that was a waste of smart mail. Come on, man. Ugh. Okay, fine. We'll get her We'll get her after the nap. But we still have smart milk bottles. We have, like, three left, I think. We have... Like, actually, we have four left. Never mind. We actually have enough smart milk. 
All right, little boy probably should go to bed s after this as well. Alan, you're going to have to pick up the charisma later. Orlando Santowski is getting married to Ivy Santowski. So those are the pl those are the pleasant few orphan teen orphans. I actually put them in an orphanage and then I moved them into college and college picked out um college picked out story progression picked out their college degrees and put them all through college and I didn't have to set foot in and do any university rounds at all like I didn't even visit them to see how they were doing it was so gloriously wonderful not have to do any university rounds I'm just ugh, I don't miss it at all some people like using the university but after 19 20 years you just want to break from it <laughs> Sophie Miguel is getting married to Marissa Miguel Oh, that's Marissa Creelman. She's like an orphan townie from Blue Water Village. That's what who she is. So Sophie's marrying her. It was love at, at sight, first sight with those two. Let me tell you. They were meant to be together. That's all I'm gonna say. All right, now she can actually look after herself. She's not having fun. Um. She's hungry. Let's go ahead. And I'm going to have her make lunch for everybody because the kids are about to get home from school and that'll give them some, some like actual food to eat. And then when Vincent gets home, he can teach Vinny Jr. how to study. And they should, if they have homework, they will put it on their respective desks. She'll be any second now. Vinny's doing extremely well. All right, so there's Hudson coming back from his level two job. Are you gonna pee? Come down here and use this bush. We need to give you a bath, but not right now. Labia Cannoli, how are you, sweetie? I just saw you were in there. If they're out, I, they can only retire. Do you have a mod to change that or so that way? Um, I do have a mod, I think, that lets them retire early when they're still adults. As I, I have had um, adults who reached level 10 be able to retire. I'm not sure who did the mod. But I think you, have, you definitely have to reach level 10, which he, he's been since the very beginning. So he's going to put that on his desk. I don't know if... Okay, I need you to get out of your clothes. So we're going to go into Sim Manipulator menu, get everybody back into their casual clothes. I don't know if um, Nancy has homework today. Does she have homework? It doesn't look like she's got... Yeah, she doesn't have homework today. She didn't have any yesterday either. I feel like we should get her gussied up. You know? What's her favorite color again? Her favorite color's red. That's not really red. So let's go ahead and gussy her up. Oh, sorry. It would help if I did this. Let's go ahead and gussy her up and then buy some clothes for her. I mean, I'm going to do it again next time because she'll be a teenager next time we visit this household. Change of parents. First, we're going to see what kind of other hair stuff. First, I want to see her face up close. Pretty sure that I already gave her eyelashes. Ooh, stop that. Okay, ooh, I love her eyes. I don't know which parent she's getting that from. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, let's go ahead and give her some, these are actually male eyelashes, they're just for the men, but I'd like to give kids these eyelashes, because the, the eyelashes that come up here, the layerable eyelashes, are just too much for children, so I just give them the male lashes, regardless, and these are, um, actually not lipsticks, these are not lipsticks, they're just different colored natural lips, and I'd like to change it up a little bit, so not everybody has the same colored lip, because her skin's a little dark. 
do that. So yeah, I know it's listed under lipstick, but they're not lipsticks. Um, she's got. Let me see. Wait, I gave her male lashes, skin tone three. I gave her a different colored lip. No, that's too much. I actually used to have like uh, unisex eyes for light colored skin, but I wasn't happy with it. So I think I'll just not do anything to her eyes right now. I will look at the different eyebrows. I am not happy with these uh, default eye eyebrow replacements. Not happy. I like these two. I really like these two, but this one, uh, it makes them look so angry when I switch to this one. It's just, it's just weird. <laughs> you see the difference? Angry. Angry. <laughs> Like, what the fuck? I am going to give the kids um, glasses, though. I want the kids to be severely myopic like their mother. <laughs> All right, so we've got the Buddy Holly glasses. We've got these, um, the under rims. We've got more Buddy Holly glasses. She does like red. Then we have the over rims. We've got the under rims and the over rims. Let's see if I can get her some red glasses. They, these are cat eyeglasses. Those are always good. They don't always work with all face shapes, though. That's that's the problem. These are like the glasses, like the base game glasses, which I don't like. Ooh, red cat eyeglasses. I don't know how they... I don't think they look good on her, though. I know I have other red glasses, though. Those are the under rim. Ooh, ooh. I could use the ovals. Oh, th those are red ovals. I'll use red ovals. Yeah, we're going to use that one. This is all the default. These are all my default replacements for um, all the makeup, the, the face the costume makeup or whatever. You can actually layer these. Some of them are layerable, but you have to get a mod from TNW that allows layerable costume makeup or full face makeup. He made, he made this mod where you can layer some of them. Depends. So some of these are layerables, but some aren't. I don't think these are. These are all separate, which makes sense because they're masks. Anyway. I don't think I'm going to put any of these on. But these are freckles. Put some freckles on her. Those are nose. Those are cute. Yeah, we'll put those freckles on her. That's good. All right, now let's gussy her up and give her some red clothing. Ay, 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 ay. Gussy up. Buy clothes. Everything. All right, let's do this. She, I might have already done this for her, but for some whatever reason, her... Okay, see, I'm having issues. <laughs> she is a science nerd. You know what I'm gonna do? I actually like this sweater. I'm gonna get that sweater. I might have to turn up my graphic settings, just like you said before. Because I think that's what's going on here. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and do that. Let's, no, we're gonna just go ahead and cancel all these. I'm gonna turn up my graphic settings. Hopefully that will change the situation and I can actually see some of these. Let's pause this. Go into graphics. I turned down a lot of the graphic settings only because I was getting pink soup. I don't think I need to have shadows on high for the clothing or lighting. But I do think I need it for sim object detail, texture detail, and graphic effects. I'm going to keep reflections off though. Alright, let's try this again. Let's see if it actually makes a difference with this clothing. Because otherwise, I don't know what's causing it. I don't have any missing orphan meshes or anything like that. I already did a check with Delphi's download organizer. I went into the body shop. Everything was fine. Boop, 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 boop. Yes, I do. I do want to keep these settings. All right, let's go back to Gussie up again. 
I close everything. All right, let's take two. Okay, now the, okay. <laughs> you see what's going on here? The pants are finally showing up. So that was the problem. But these pa oh, see, you, see the, you see what's going on here? The thumbnails are fucked up. The thumbnails are fucked up, but there's, there's a trick you can do. I think you're supposed to hold down either the alt key or the control key and right click or sh left click to, to update the, um, the thumbnails. And now I don't remember what it is. There's a way to clear out the thumbnails. Now I don't remember, like, while you're in the game. Anyway, these are working now, as you can see. Um, I want to put her in these jeans. Now I'm going to put her in these jeans. There we go. Okay, so I'm actually going to get several outfits for her. Oh, wait a second. Let's go back here. That's pretty, but she likes red. I'm going to try to get her some red. That has red in it. Ooh, that's cute. We'll get that. Oh, and that's pretty. Okay, that's a little too fancy for her. That has red in it. That's a very eclectic. I like that. She's a science nerd. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do. That's what we're gonna put her in. She's a science nerd. That's that's her outfit. <laughs> Red. Okay, that'll be her formal outfit. That's, oh, wait a second, hold up. That's cuter. <laughs> right on. All right, so she just got back from school. She has no homework. She does have to pee. You know what? I'm going to let her do whatever the fuck she wants. I am going to put her in outdoor clothes, though. Not outdoor clothes. Um, Workout clothes. All right, you go play on the playground, please. And your brother. Yeah, he's actually peeing. I'm going to have him come up, up here and play on the playground as well. Um, is he in his out? Is he in his? Okay, so hold on. We haven't got, we've never gussied this guy up. He literally just changed into a child. And I haven't even seen what his face is up close. So let's go ahead and do that. His favorite color is orange, I believe. I just want to double check that. All right, Gussie up, change appearance. Just want to see what you look like. I'm going to put you in glasses, sweetie. Oh no, ah, uh, stop. Gussie up. All right, let's actually put you. I kind of want to put him in a cap. I don't know why. Ooh. Ooh, I know it's not orange, but it's in that vicinity. <laughs> I do not like these hairs at all. I really hate those hairs. I, I want to get them out of my game. Uh, nope. Okay, we're going to go with this one. I don't know why. Uh, we are going to give him eyelashes, so we're going to give him male eyelashes. His skin's not as dark as his sister's. Let's go with that lip color. His eyes aren't as big as his sister's too. Okay, let's gussy him up. Buy clothes, everything. Let's do it. Orange. Orange. 
also let's see what else he's got oh orange actually i kind of like the jeans that he came with because it's got the brown shoes kind of kind of goes ties together a little bit okay that's not a huge selection so we'll go with white i guess i don't know orange i'm gonna have to get rid of that hat for his formal outfit <laughs> it doesn't really go with it <laughs> oh orange okay we already picked that orange is there anything else that we can pick I'll just buy those. I have to buy something to get through this. We'll just put them in the orange ones. Uh, I, I, I don't know what to, I don't know what to get them. Well, we'll just put them in those. We can't do orange everything. <laughs> orange. Okay, we could always get this one for his outdoor. Here's orange. Put him in that one. Okay. All right. I want you to go back into your workout and then go join your sister on the playground. Go on the monkey bars. Join play on the playground. There you go. Off you go. All right. Kids are taken care of. Um, she's, yeah, we're going to have to work on her talking, learning how to talk. He's getting rest. Mom's taking care of herself, eating. Oh, hold on. Are these are the guy are the kids hungry? They are hungry. Go ahead. Come over here. Oh, I forgot to put glasses on him. I have to put glasses on him. Everyone's gonna have glasses in this family. Just because she came with glasses, so Those are her glasses. As you can see, she's got one of the custom ones. She is not having any fun. No fun. I really like how this turned out. Very classy. All right, you. Did you just get home? I don't think so. Where the fuck have you been? All right, I'm going to let him take care of stuff from this point forward. She needs to have some fun. I'm going to have her play the PlayStation. Play, play some Sims or games or whatever. What is she doing? Alright. What's Vincent doing? Oh, are you going to bait this dog? Dog's kind of stinky. Alright, Pippa, you're up. Outside. All right, you come up here, babe, uh, Pippa. Pippa, off the bed. You're stinking up the bed. I know you're tired. I'm just gonna cheat a little bit. You did not just see that. <laughs> come out here and, hold on. Can you not use this bush? No. Oh, here's the bush. I was pointing at the wrong thing. Um, these flowers are crazy out of control. Here, pee on this bush. There you go. Oh, he's already peeing. Where is he? Is he outside? Oh, he's already outside peeing. Okay, he peed on this bush. You're the one that keeps digging the holes. I bet it's you. Vincent's got to do something about that. Where is Vincent? I'm sorry. Where is Vincent? There he is. You get into the bath, and I want you to behave yourself, too. Where's Dave? Dave's fine. Dave's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine with Dave. Dave's <laughs> 
Thanks for the lurk spider. I just saw that my chat was it. My chat stopped working in my on my second screen. It's not really a second screen. It's it's an old notebook I'm using. I really need to get a proper computer with a second monitor. Um, hold on. Let me just try to use to see if the notebook is working again. I'm just gonna refresh the page. It's a very old notebook. The phone is just a standby thing. I haven't used it in a while. Alright, what are we doing? I'm gonna wait. Aww. Dave's looking for companionship, and everybody's ignoring him. Poor Dave. Alright, what are the kids doing? He has to teach his son how to study. Are you gonna eat your food, or are you just gonna sit there, blah, blah, blah? blah. Eat. Eat. Blood is up. All right, so after this, we're going to work on... All right, I need you to praise for behaving in the tub. Oh. All right, now, I want you to go downstairs. Where is your son's homework? Okay, I need you to come down here. And Vinny, I need you to come down here as well when you're done. Oh, you can get out of... Come on now. There you go. You're fine. As a matter of fact, you can take yourself to the potty. You can't eat, though. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to test that new mod to see if she can actually get a bottle for her brother. So let's just test out this mod. She's gonna. I'm going to have her get a bottle for Vinny. See what happens. Alright, everybody downstairs. Who the fuck is that? Oh, Hamilton. Hamilton just uh, aged up. Out of the way. Alright, you. Come through the door. Because you keep blocking it. Over here. No, you're not going to eat the dog food. Come on now. Alright, you click on here and help your son. Teach him how to uh, do homework. No, 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 no! No! No, I'm pretty sure I did not tell you to do that. Stop. You go back in here. No, you're not going to play with toys. Okay, Vincent, stop, 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 stop. Stand up. Go over here. Help Vinny. My bad. Oh, she did get the bottle out of the fridge. Oh my god, the mod really is what it says it is. It's actually working. So happy with that mod. That's one of the best mods in the last, I don't know, little while that I've bumped into. Okay, you. Are you out of the crib? You are out of the crib. Are you hungry? Not really. You're not really hungry. You do need to work on mechanical, though. She's drawing right now. She also needs to work on creativity. So I'm going to let her finish drawing and work on her creativity. It looks like she's about to level up anyway with that. So we're just going to le leave her be. Uh, you need to play with blocks. You need to work on your mechanical. You also need to pee. So I'm going to let you pee. <laughs> Alright. So he's going to teach his son how to do homework. She's going to pee. Mom is still playing uh, video games upstairs. So everything's good. Alright, you. Pretty sure that you need to work on charisma. So you come over there, talk to Mr. Rabbithead. Yeah. All right. Hey, look at that. You got a mechanical skill point. Good for you. All right, little girl. Yeah, you're going to play with blocks. Just like your sister. You're going to play with your little sister. I'm going to have to get rid of these paper lanterns. They're driving me crazy. <laughs> I mean, they're good. They're a good go-to when you're first setting up a room. Oh, that's another thing. I got to do something about the floor down here. I'm so sick and tired of watching this. Um, we're just gonna do. I usually go to the free time folder and use those. We don't have to. We can put a shag carpet down here. Let's do a shag carpet. Something from the '70s. Here's shag. Saw a lot of orange. There was a lot of burnt orange shag in the '70s. Let me tell you. <laughs> Oh, it was glorious. <laughs> uh, 
Savannah Sienna stained gobbler carpet? I don't know. I don't want to think too much about this, but are these shag carpets? Birch? Eh, you know what? I'm just gonna just pick something. Just pick something. This isn't rocket science, girl. Don't think about it too. Oh, is this burnt? <gasps> Orange shag carpet. Yes. Yes. Gloriously, gloriously, um, what's the word, word, word I'm looking for? Tacky. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to do that, though. I'm so used to neutral colors. I don't think I could go down that. I will do another room and that. Maybe we could do... Yeah, we'll do it in this room. <laughs> Let's just give them something... Oh, that's a little bit too bright. Something neutral. There we go. Something neutral. We're going to play it safe. Are you going to come over here and play blocks? Play with blocks. All right, looks like these two are almost done. All right, so at least we did that. Now, what are we missing? We're missing teaching a uh, little girl how to talk. That's the only thing we're missing. Does she have the stamina for it, the energy? She does. All right, you could actually stop playing with that. Come over here. Dad's going to finish teaching you how to talk. And this kid's going to jump in the shower. Alright, what's mom doing? Alright, she's fine. She's had enough fun. <laughs> no more fun for you. <laughs> and then you're going to go to bed. Dad's going to finish up downstairs. This is actually the last night with them. I actually did a full four-day rotation. Awesome. And I, I, I fucked around quite a bit. I went on the website a couple times. So, there you go. Alright, so, little boy, what are we doing? Yeah, go to bed. Go to bed. It's after eight. We should start wrapping things up with these kids. Little girl has to go to bed, but she also has to have a shower. Take a shower first. Okay, Nancy got a mechanical skill, so that's good. Okay, now she's got two... Well, the only thing she has to work on, really, is charisma. And everything else will come naturally. Alright, you. You can actually take yourself to the potty now. There you go. Just have to keep an... The only thing I'm worried about is Kitty's... I have to speed this up. Is Kitty's um, motives. She's about a third of the way. It's about 40%. She's still doing pretty good. We might have to stop briefly to let her pee, but I don't want to use another smart milk on her because it's just counterproductive at this point. We should be able to get her before she gets too tired. Naomi has the night off. She always has the night off. All right, she's in bed. She's in bed. He's in bed. The little boy's working on his charisma. I mean, he's actually doing pretty good energy-wise. So she will be definitely a child next time we visit this family, and he will still be a toddler. But at least we don't have to worry about his um, his skills. We could do other things. As a matter of fact, this I think we're going to take this uh, family on a vacation next time and leave and bring him along, and hopefully it, was, it won't freak out bringing a toddler along <laughs> like it did last time. I don't know what's going on. I'm, I think I'm going to replace uh, Plum Tail's Bon Voyage makeovers with uh, a, another Bon Voyage hoods. 
I suspect that they're just now inherently buggy, and that's why she's redoing them, because she, she's already uploaded Three Lakes, like a remake of Three Lakes. And I suspect that there's a reason for that, that she got too many complaints or something or whatever. Aside from the fact that she likes to put lots of high polygon objects in her neighborhood and on her lots, aside from that point, I think there's a lot of invisible markers that, that are on her lots for whatever reason, and she didn't clear them out before uploading them. But I've never in my life had to deal with Sims sinking into the ground on Bon Voyage lots. That was definitely a new one that I've never seen before. So anyway, we're almost done with this family. We're just finishing this little girl up. Come on! So close! You're so freaking close! Don't make me stop for your bladder. So technically, I'm supposed to stop uh, Wednesday morning at 6 a.m., but I usually just stop Tuesday evening. Because there's no point in just putting them to bed and watching them sleep. <laughs> At that point, also I'm hungry. <laughs> oh my god. Well, at least this stream was relatively uneventful. Like, I got through the entire four day rotation, and I still fucked around quite a bit. So that was good. And I also got some decorating in. I watched all the dogs. Two of the dogs got trained. And uh, and also, they got promoted after they were trained. So we got quite a bit done. Oh, did she get it? She got it. She got it! Alright, you come over to the potty. So we're pretty much done with these guys. Yeah, we're done with these guys. We are done. Just, to, just in time for my, um... For my fifth, uh break, which I'm not going to take because I'm going to go ahead and raid somebody. Is there, who, who is on right now that you would like to raid? Does anybody have a friend on? Or we've got, let's see who who among my friends are on right now. We've got some Terrier, some Terrier, Codiceo, Sades of, Sades of Tamriel, Orange and Peachy. <laughs> I'm just looking through my list. I know a lot of people. Cators is on. Okay, somebody named Cators is playing The Sims 2 right now. Only one person is watching them, which is just, I don't know. That makes me sad. I have no idea who this person is. Apparently, I am following them, but they must have followed me, and I followed them back. So this person is, is doing The Sims 2. Nobody's watching them. We're going to rate them. Please, please, please add them. Uh, you don't have to stick around. Just add them. Because I like, I like supporting smaller channels. Also, it's always nice to get a raid. Especially when you're, you're a small streamer like this person is. So let's go ahead and set this up. Alright. Apparently, they're 52 minutes into their broadcast. So anyway, Friday, we're going to do Riley. From Riley's story. And then we're going to start Rotation 5, you guys. So that's what we're doing Friday. Anyway, I'll see you guys Friday. Bye!